Hi, welcome to the Midnight Supper Club. I am Akane here and today we'll be talking about some topics about relationships and also content creation. Yes. Do you all want to say hi? We have a special guest with us here today, you know? Look at that. Who is our guest? Oh. It's Mr. Omo. <laughs> what the fuck? Hums up, hums up, hums up. Wait, 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 wait. This wait. guy on my left is a complete hums up. Why you mean this guy on your left? If anything, you're more hums up, bro. And so innocent. Lies. Mm. Cap. Everyone knows. <laughs> Not one, do not one doesn't know, bro. I, I, I did care about you, right? But like, hearing from, like, Domo, then hearing Suzu, right? I did care, man. Suzu feels like the bigger hums up here. Wait, why? Wait. Way bigger. Way yeah, bigger. exactly, what, right? What do you mean? What do you mean? What? Are, you, are you discriminating by my voice? No. <laughs> no, I'm discriminating no, you. It's just everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Different. Go, mm. go bit <laughs> Got a hit back once in a while, guys. Can't let the abuse <laughs> go for back. free. Yes. Get back. It's gonna become anemic from coughing out so much blood. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hi, it's me. It it a Domo the Roboto. Yes, my name is too long. I don't know. Yes, that's why we just call him Domo. <laughs> yep, yep. Everyone calls me Domo. So yeah. Mm -mm. It's all right. Mr. Who here Domo. is in a relationship? Speak up now. Okay, we don't need to talk about Suzu. <laughs> we don't need to talk about Suzu. We know, we know, we know, we get it. The three podcasts you've been talking about your girlfriend, we get it, we get it. Yeah, I also can see in the photo. Yeah, yeah, we understand. We don't need to flex, please. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wait, Domo, aren't you in a relationship also? Nope. Ah, huh? I am single. Three singles and one taken bitch. Uh, I mean, how? Oh my god, not like this. Hey, now we get so to bully Suzu. Yeah, oh. exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that has been like so a basic... recurrence for the last three episodes. <laughs> so this hey, conversation no is literally uh, three people that can speak freely, freely in their mind and one person be careful. Yes. Yeah, speak in Chinese, <laughs> right? I don't think he knows how to speak Chinese. Whoa, 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 If you want to take it a step further, speak Cantonese, you won't understand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Only call Yana. Oh, I'd like to invite you subtitling is Akane's job. I would like to invite you. Yana, Gong Dong Wa, Ho Ho Ye. My best line, my best Kento line. Oh, I'm sick, Gong Dong Wa. What's that? Sick Teng, I'm sick, Gong. Hey, you got Gong Gong, man. Sick, sick, oh, oh, <laughs> you know how small is my vocabulary <laughs> in Kento? I know what is like one to a hundred in Kento, but you know, like that's the basics, you know. Guys, I would like to tune off from Channel 8. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> tuning <to> Channel 8. <laughs> Nor. Yep, see, some say. Yep, see, some say. Some say. Hey, where's the part? Where's your part go to, bro? 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 Which is the second word that you just said literally became I was, 11. I thought it was 12. <laughs> My brain just went. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And then. Wah, me yaoki. 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 Wah, Oh no. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. You only sound Singaporean for some reason now, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a It's like all the common phrases. Like. These are such common Cantonese, phrases in Singaporean Zen, households. Zen, Zen, Be Hyo Kim. Zen, Be Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. He must screw Jesus. I'm cringing into my soul. Holy shit. Oh my god, please shut up. Please shut up. What does he want to let go? Oh no! Oh my god! What you sound like this? a Japanese. You sound like an anime dub that is trying to sound <laughs> like an actual anime, but it's still Singapore dub. <laughs> Singapore, Singapore dub, <laughs> no. Singapore dub. <laughs> the only way, the only reason why I would say that is because like most Singaporeans who watch anime are just like straight up weebs. 
Oh, oh, no, 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 do you know <laughs> Kaki Nang? Yeah, 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 surprisingly, yes. Yeah, it's it's, it's close, right? For the language. Hokkien I think. Oh, wait, how tiang? The easiest oh, one for me to remember is Sikina. Why? Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, I hate that too much. Oh, 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 <laughs> is it pervert? Is it pervert? <laughs> Sikina means like. How, how do I explain it? Is it. I don't know. Uh, I thought it was like. It's like it's like It's like damn kid la. It's like you stupid like you dumb kid or whatever. Uh, it's like damn kid. Because kina means kid if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Or like you're someone under you know. Yeah. yeah. Well I don't learn bad words, so I don't really know much other than <laughs> 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 I also don't I, know bad words at all. Why can't she say so? That's the there. Why can't she say so? That's the Liar. I would never say so, my friends. <laughs> oh no, shut, shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> love messing with like language. So funny. Yeah, I didn't see. Yeah, I do that too. Just, just no, <laughs> when I know someone is tutored with one certain language, right? I'm like, hey, hey, my time. We, we yeah. know it's it's in the Malaysian one Malaysian one, Yeah. You know the you door? The door's right there. only Malay, but you add English into it. I don't see a door, bro. I just see the entrance, bro. Okay. Damn. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. There's no door. Look to the left. There's no door. It's, it's just a giant entrance, bro. That's <laughs> not wrong. That's not wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, instead, of, instead of him saying there's the door, he should, he should say there's the shuttle. Get out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying in Chinese recently to my friends in real life. <laughs> you can't go to Myanmar. You can't go to Myanmar. You can't go to Myanmar. You know Haru confirm is that. Lah. No. It's no, like... No, no. My meaning is like, you know Haru. That one damn quite hard. Uh, so you also confirm you. <laughs> true, true. It's an issue me and an issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time I told my friend, do you see the door there? Leave. Was in the MRT and she actually left. So my train just <laughs> went yeah. off, and then she just went bye bye. And I was like, "What the fuck, bro? What the fuck?" <laughs> you. <laughs> Felt like a kid left in a shopping mall, bro. <laughs> That's why I never say this kind of thing. When my friends say I walk out, and then <laughs> oh, no. I actually walk out, and so they be like, "Oh," <laughs> and then I come back, I see their reaction, and it's like, "Wee." Well, you know, you know, so okay, so 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 quick. You're lucky I have no I have no perms to re-enter the chat or else I, I would have left already bro. <laughs> I can't do room because I'm the one recording. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it feel like whenever we stumble upon the first topic, we just derail then after you circle back? <laughs> circle back. <laughs> yeah man. What are we the way we are? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. going back to topic, okay. Um, yeah, Susan's so. the only one that has a partner, and we are all singles right now. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sucks this to be is us. More a question to me, eh? From Wushi through me to you guys. What is the boundary of a taken person with the opposite gender or the same gender? Define boundary. Like, hmm. Would you get close to a person quickly of the opposite sex? But you are completely transparent with such interactions and discussion of this person with the significant other. Whoa. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> whoa. okay, la, come, come, come. I, I explain for y'all. Okay, so, pretty much, right? He's asking, is like, what would you allow or not allow from like the other person's behavior of the other person's behavior? I don't... Uh, if you say your significant other, I feel like you should have not. In, in my eyes, in my like, own opinion, um, if you have a significant other, it's where you should feel most comfortable and literally just be you, do what, uh, do what you want, 
uh, and they do what they want. Cause you, if your goal is long term and like, f- like, well, the rest of your life, you are gonna stare with to this into this person with this person at this person for the rest of your life. If you don't feel like you can be comfortable around them, right? Then what's the point? Yeah. Then how about right? So then we move to the actual thing, right? So it's pretty much like. So let's say. I'm taken, right? What should I allow? Like, let's say I'm, okay, I'm taken, but then I like to mingle with other people for friends, ah, just for friends, right? Yeah. Like, okay. you don't have any, like, suspicious intention or whatever, you know, the, I don't want to go and oh, cheat on my partner or whatever. I whatsoever. explain my perspective for me. I've got to yes. say mass. <laughs> so pretty much, so what should I, as a partner to someone, allow or not allow uh, from like people that I'm mingling with. Like let's uh, say like someone flirt at you, like jokingly flirt at you, will you allow it? Okay. Um yeah. uh, okay, to answer that, right? Um again this is very uh, purely personal based. Like everyone will react to it differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's um because there's a level of trust also, but when it reaches a certain point where the flirting, right? Because <laughs> In how I see it is there's levels. If it if it's like light light flirt like stuff like that, is it is completely fine. But if it reaches a certain level, and you start, uh, I will start to feel uncomfortable, and then I'll voice it out. Because if I don't voice it out and I don't say anything in the in the end, if it explodes, it will lie between like well my my problem uh. So. I feel it's important to actually share these kind of things when you feel uncomfortable with your partner. Good answer. But, yeah. Continue, <laughs> oh, continue. Am I, am I not to answer? <laughs> later. Your turn is later, Suzu. <laughs> <laughs> as long as both understand each other, it's always... Yeah. Just don't go... Just talk it out, yeah. The main thing mm. is talk it out. Yeah, the, the so most important thing is always talk it out. Stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Make so, sure you understand both of, both intention. I think, okay, so like restricting one to not interact with the whole <laughs> gender is a bit too much. It, that, one is, that one is a bit insane, <laughs> I will say. That, that, one's, yeah. that one's a bit much. But if you like flirting, I get that you feel uncomfortable. Natural. Your partner. Natural. But... If it's light, right, you'll feel uncomfortable, but you need to know, like, to hold yourself uh, uh, to a certain extent. <clears throat> but if it, it, it goes to a level where it's a bit too much, um, ideally voice it to your partner, and your partner... That, then that comes to the, uh, the other partner's perspective, is where they, what, they have to deem it that, okay, this is also a bit too much. I agree. So... I will do something about it. Something like that. But if you both don't share, then something confirm there will be an issue. There, there, it's bound to be an issue to arise from it. Mm. So it's good to talk it out and understand that, oh, um, I feel like if a little bit further, then it's unacceptable. Or like, oh yeah, I feel it's, un- um, it's already in, it's treading to not comfortable type of boundaries already. And then, yeah, it sh- then action should be taken. Uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with us from what I've seen. As, unless you like, you know, unless it's like something that is not meant like a joke or have fun thing, right? Mm-hmm. Then you should take action, I guess. But it's, it's, for me, I would never see it as a good and bad thing. It's always like gray. Yeah, it is yeah, a very gray zone. zone. It's very gray zone. Yeah. So, so well, I'm allowed to good. voice my. My uh, my it's not now. my turn yet. I will love. Wait, I thought you agreed on someone's. I agree, but I haven't said what I think truly. Yeah. No, no, I, I, no, I'm curious. Listen, listen. You first, you first. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so pretty much, right? Personally, uh, I would, of course, like, I think it's the best to first talk it out with your partner. Like, what is the acceptable level? And then of course you have to compromise right with each other, right? Mm. So then after the compromise, right, then you set up the boundaries of what is acceptable. Uh. So like personally, like like flirting 
is okay, tolerable, but mm. prefer not to. Mm. Because best is none. Yes, best is none. It's like prevention is the best. <laughs> Prevent any of, issues from happening. Happen place, yeah. Exactly. Because yeah. like, you also don't want your partner to misunderstand. But you also don't want the other party to misunderstand that like, oh, you're so lax with your relationship. Then like, what well, don't want to give you any wrong ideas yeah, or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm, so that's my stand. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Well, really reasonable. Man. I guess the voice of the villain will now speak with their hands. Yeah. <laughs> speak, bitch. I feel like... Spotlight I, on you. Go. I feel like I have the most. I I don't even know if it's the greatest answer or not because to me, right, I actually quite okay with my partner talking to like the opposite gender. Maybe because I got a bit too much trust. But it's like, it's how I say, for example, I'm quite used to people be like, oh, your partner's voice very nice, or oh, she's very cute, or she or the partner looks uh like uh. How, the exact word used was sexy la, but you you get it la. a compliment on her appearance to me it's just like oh yeah honestly yes you know I can, I can see why someone would like her or like the understanding la, you know? the boyfriend yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, a, I'm just I'm already like a special place in her life so I don't feel like my position my <laughs> my position <laughs> is threatened <laughs> Sally English? Bukai. So sorry. But yeah. Wow. English doko. Yeah, English doko then. Doko yeah. deska. I, I, I don't know. I don't really feel much about it. It's like how I say. It, it depends on like what I'm watching. Like if the flirting right has like clear like connotation to more or like it's trying to progress. Then I'll be like yo yo yo. DM girlfriend. Stop stop stop. You need to like <laughs> set it straight. No. This is a no fly zone. Like, I feel like you can say whatever you want. You can like joke around. As long as the vibe is like wholesome or like happy-ish. Where like it feels it's like fine. It's like where it only relies on like where it only lies as friend. Not, not, like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. yeah, yeah. Like there's no like clear advancement from the friend position or like there's no clear attempt to overthrow the status mm. quo. <laughs> I mean, the you know, status the, quo. Wow. The, the overthrow it's like mad, the significant swear. other's position. Yeah, I think it's okay. But I don't know. Maybe because I'm so open about it. That's why I seem to hit a lot of conflict very easily. Because I'm like, yeah, I think it's okay though. Like, I don't think it's like anything more than just like preference. It's like when you call an anime character, whoa, character so hot. Whoa. The, yeah, but yeah, she can't course. come in real life and you can't just like literally whisk her away and just like leave your partner. No, no, oh, 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 <laughs> I oh, can show you the world. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, what I see is like, how is it? You, you are dating that person for a reason. Mm. That reason would not change. Oh, unless you're like some like person that switches your significant other like wearing underwear. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but you know, still kind of hell. You think nothing wrong with that, oh? <laughs> I mean, you, live, oh. you want to live your life, but that's that's the L way to go about it because you're not hurting people. So I don't know. It, it, at least mm. to me, it's like, how's it? Imagine you. It's like, imagine you're dating a cosplayer and the cosplayer just gets tons of likes on Instagram or like she's very popular online on the social platform or the social space. Mm. Then there's creepy photographers who want to take pictures of her. Obviously, you come here, hey, you, you stop it, you stop it. You, you are, yeah. Too much, Anger a bit, you too much. Eh? Look up, look up. Mm. No, this is like the extra. Mm. Yeah. A lot so, of things that have to be taken into effect. Uh, yeah. Factors, uh, yeah. A lot of context yeah, needed, la, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, because like. Yeah, yeah, so I'm mm. so open with like, mind, whatever, you know. Mind, right? Like, it I wonder. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you like the. It's like, how to say, if, wouldn't you want your boyfriend or girlfriend to be like, liked by people or like to be complimented? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least that is my stance. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Uh. I, can, I can tell you Suzu, what, what, what Suzu uh, is in Suzu here. Uh. So when someone like, this good thing about his girlfriend, right? He's like, yeah, my girlfriend, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty yeah, much. For, right, I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I think no, all no, of us no. as friends can tell. <laughs> I can see, bro. <laughs> oh, I got eyes, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? That's why I always say, no flicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it's not like this. <laughs> yeah, but like, okay, like, I want to add on Suzu's point now, which is like, you know how he said like he's okay with people like saying things or like saying whatever as long as there's no clear advancement, right? Mm. 
Mm. But the thing is that there's a lot of people, right, who like to mask the intention behind mm. a joking tone, right? Mm. So yeah, because I of that, ex- right? I have experience with that. Yeah. yeah, same. So like, so because of that, right, I would personally limit that kind of like friendly flirting thing with people who I can, like, I know very well and can trust instead of like mm. random people who I just met like not long ago and like <laughs> very new friends, you know? This this is my L response. Wait for it, for it. I okay. feel that at that rate, right, I think it's not the trust in the person, it's the trust in your partner. What the fuck? No? Ah, no, no, no. I mean like, like personally as to myself, not to my partner. To my partner, oh. if she's okay, she's comfortable, uh, fuck it, bro. Go for it, bro. Because I oh, so, personally so trust... like the position of the person being like complimented. Uh, uh, see it? See it? Like, no, it's Did like I? more this of like... To... Okay, I'll give you an example. This girl say, oh my god, you are very, uh, okay. you damn cute. Okay, but like more flirtingly and jokingly, right? To me, okay. If she is someone that is closer to me, like let's say I hit like a sick Valorant clip and she's like, oh my god, you damn sexy. Then it's alright. She just, if she's someone close to me, right? Like he or she is someone close to me, whatever they are, like as long as they are a close friend, and my partner knows of them well enough, then I don't mind. As long mm. as my partner is comfortable with it. Mm. But if that person who it's is like directing the compliment to me is like a random, or not really a random, like if it's random, they just pass, you know, they just go. Or someone that you're not that close with. Lah. Someone that I'm not close with, like, yeah. 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 Stays like that, then it's a bit like, um... Oh. Kind of uh-huh. thing, yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh. <laughs> no, I think me and my partner will go, huh? <laughs> kind of situation. Excuse so like, me? Yeah, so it's like, it's, like, it's, it's, it's kind of just monka ass because you also don't want any misunderstanding. So you're just like, mm. um, hmm, okay. <laughs> Thank, thanks. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know what to say, kind of thing. Uh. Mm. Yeah, so that's like my stance on it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's that, 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 If I think I, about it, the I don't think the distance of the friendship matters. It's like how to say. Mm, this this is why I say I I'm probably gonna have the villain stance for this topic because it's like I feel like I trust my partner to the point where I believe they will make the right action and like the right level of like. Like, they can judgment gauge la. everything well, you know? Like, for example, right like... La. Yeah, yeah. Like, their judgment needs to be good. I, I didn't choose a partner that could be swayed by words or, like, tempted by, like, some, like, fruit, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, so to me, it's like... Everything is okay. It's just... How say? If it goes wrong and there is more than what I... What I trusted, la, it's mm-hmm. on me, you know? I don't mm. really fault my partner. That's why it's like... I get cheated I'm like okay it's not oh, really okay. their fault it's like my fault for believing it so like it's okay having that place, like, yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, like, I, I, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like trust so fundamental in a relationship that you need to blind trust this person because like anything could happen you could you for example you have to be away for some time and then you have no contact for a few like weeks then what are you gonna like I'm gonna be like pondering over this situation. Yeah. That you yeah, yeah. like glanced over. No, no, I like you're dating this person for a reason. You gotta have faith, trust. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They are your make it or break it. So if it breaks, then fuck it lah. You fucked mm. up. But if you like, yeah, like, your, 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 your choice L. <laughs> your, your choice, choice L. L. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, I feel like when you start to doubt or start to question is when. I, I don't know I don't know if you would agree but I feel kind of like sad because it feels like oh. you can you can say you trust me but I don't trust the person I'm interacting with but if you trust me you wouldn't have the doubt you know because you know that I would draw the line and this line is like no fly like no matter what it takes two parties for a like a breach of trust to happen you know Basically, it takes two hands to clap. I'm okay. 
two hands to clap is such a happy way to say it. I was going for yeah, like happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was going for like a more like hurtful way. You know, mm. you need to two two parties both have to act for something bad to go wrong. Like, can you really blame the? It's like the saying, you know. You need even if you've got goalkeeper, uh-huh. no, no, even if you've got goalkeeper, you can score. It's the saying guys say, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but in the <laughs> end, right? Fun, bro, I don't, I don't hear that line anymore. I hear that line. <laughs> 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 no, no, but but see, the thing is, that that saying doesn't work. If the if you can just even if you score right, the point don't count. You can shoot a million balls in right, but if not, the point is counted right. Then what's the point? All right. Mm. Mm. At least that's my thinking lah. But I don't know. It might be flawed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I see your point. But it's like, okay, like my statement, right, is solely like not based on what I reflect on my partner. It's more of what I do for myself. Just in case. Because like, I know like my pre- one of my previous partners, right, they were just very insecure. And like, mm. they trust me. But, you know, there's, it's like, there's always that fear of like, oh shit, I'm not enough. So then like, Mm. scared that I would leave them yeah so I yeah it's just insecure or at least like you know just a bit scared Mm. but she still trusts me but just like because of I know that she's insecure so I personally don't want to do anything that might make her like more insecure you know so I just want her to have like a very 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 happy perspective of our relationship Mm. Like, you know, you still want to keep your partner happy, ma. So, of course, you will try to limit your, like, be- what people will say to you, uh. Really but, like... For real, for real. Wow, this is so weird. But, like, if, like, if people, like, compliment my girlfriend, right? Like, yeah, like, my previous partner was my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend. So, like, people compliment her, right? I'm perfectly fine. They flirt with her, like, jokingly, uh, at least. No, 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 like, full on, actually, full, like, hey, yo, what's up? Slide my DMs, kind of bullshit, no, 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 no. What's up, <laughs> like, homegirl? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's like, the joking flirt, like, the, oh my god, you're so sexy, and stuff like that, I'll be like, that's my girl! Mm-hmm. You know? When it's like... Yeah, because I trust her, no? I don't have mm-hmm. any reasons to not trust her, you know? Mm. But, of course, you still want to, like, keep things. Do you, then, do you not feel like it should be reciprocated? Like this, this feeling. Do you not feel like it should be sent the other way to your direction as well? Mm, like, I, I mean... can tell you. Sorry. Right. Mm. I can. Uh. Okay. From personal experience, I can tell you. Yes. You will feel like. Oh, maybe it should be re- reciprocated, lah. But I can tell you from experience. Even if you feel like it's supposed to be reciprocated, right? That might not happen. For me, it did not, so... <laughs> like, personal experience, okay, I've been on both ends of this, like, coin already. My biggest problem with it, right, is not the drawing the line or, like, telling the person to stop. I'm perfectly fine being direct and, like, drawing boundaries between me and a person openly. It's mm-hmm. the fact that, how to say, over, like, time, I have become very good at communicating what I'm going to do with people and the place I'm at because I date a lot of insecure people in the past. I was like, yeah. Mm. So I, I kind of got this like, how I say, I check in my location, what I'm doing for the day. Uh, if, I'm, if I meet the person, I instantly, if I meet someone new, like a new friend, I'll instantly inform and I'll like, like communicate like what is going on so I keep them like updated so they don't feel like Oh shit. You don't give them a chance to be insecure in the first place, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. I clear up all like misunderstandings. So there's like no room for it to be bad. And I even explain what other interactions like, this and that. So then it becomes more of a how much more do you need <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from me? Definitely for you yeah. to be okay. Because yeah, I... any more, right? And any more I'll be saying I'm breathing. Yeah, yeah, like I'm any, water. Like, any more <laughs> ways I can do right at that rate right I do not know how I can make you feel insecure eh, uh, secure because at that rate I feel like it's a you and it's not a me even though I'm trying my best already mm. because there's no way I can clear all your like doubts in your mind all, all you have to do is to just 
trust and wait in time for like, you know, the longer you are with a person, time wears down the soul as like, like a lot of saying goes. You over time, you don't know whether you still like the person or you still want the person as much as you did. So I feel like with relationships specifically, time should be like the most uh, vocal thing aside from just soothing one's insecurities and being like open discourse about what's going on and everything and then talking to the other party that is doing the flirting and explaining both sides like that, this is like from personal experience multiple times in my life mm. I've had people who flirt with me very aggressively like uh, I had one girl who straight up I don't, I don't even know her I met her at a at a bar while I was drinking my friend and she started flirting while I had a girlfriend and my girlfriend was at the time wasn't joined so I told this girl that I have a girlfriend and she said oh I'm so sorry I'm just very flirtatious when I'm drunk but there's a distance la, and I hope that you as the guy should put that distance between us if I ever go too far so I communicated this very effectively with my ex at the time but it was still not enough then I'm like you found out the moment this happened I've told you what happened and then I even talked to the girl and then you still you know yeah that, that should enough. be enough yeah. reassurance really. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like, yeah you know sometimes even even the best amount of reassurance is not enough uh. yeah and I'm like bro what am I can, supposed to do yeah, yeah there's nothing you can do because you've already done the best thing that you can do <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly it, 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 this really occurs so many times right there I'm like am I supposed to just only talk to dicks roosters the whole life the fuck the mouth but yeah, 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 like, phrase it then fun, yeah. Yes, yeah. But okay, la, I, I think I will, I will answer that, right? By just saying, you know how you say time wears on the soul, right? So pretty much, right? Over time, if they don't fix their insecurities, there's nothing I can do. Uh. So yeah, what I have thing. said, like, at the start, right? Isn't meant to apply for the whole entire relationship. At one point, they must really, like, it's like, you're not supposed to read the uh, insecurity completely. Instead, you're supposed to help them in identifying why is the insecurity there and helping them like remove the root of the insecurity instead of just mm-hmm. going, like brushing over it several times, going like, oh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this, 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 this. Yeah, like after a while, oh, you have to let them po- build the trust in you. Kind of thing. point, right? I've attempted this right every time. I've tried to find the reasons why I've tried to talk it through. I've tried to explain my point of view and I've tried to tell them that, you know, yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm, I, I don't say probably, maybe, because words like that are very easy to fall into a, a negative standpoint. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I just say, I won't. Like, no, yeah. it will yeah, never it happen. Never happen. Yes. Yeah. I've said those I, exact words I before. always say confidently with conviction, this will not happen. I'm not this kind of person. It's not a possibility. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If if I ever lose feelings for you, you will know. Because not just my actions, but my words will change very quickly. So you don't have to worry about me cheating or what. I will always uh, be honest with my feelings with you. Mm. And I don't know whether it's just because I can't understand the insecurity, that's, that's why it makes it so difficult to tackle, or like so hard people, for me to understand. <laughs> but, but, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not even as, as confident as you, man. It's, no, it's not. Like, it's, <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, the, kidding the fine part is, like, I have no confidence in someone staying with me, though. That's the, that's mm-hmm. the biggest meme of it all. To me, right, I don't have a lot of prospect for, like, as a partner. See, as how my partner is not in this episode, I must say, I have like a lot of negatives if you look at it from a pure, like, far point of view. If you remove the emotional support and what I can do is just time and emotional support, right? I have nothing to offer because I got no money. My educational pathway is, if I were to go back, I will take a path that will lead me to leaving the country or so. Or mm. one that requires me to use a lot of my time off way. Mm. So you see, like, I don't have the confidence or like, 
oh, I'm so handsome, whoa. Or like, whoa, everyone loves me. No, no, I actually have like the worst view of myself. I'm like my worst critic. <laughs> People yes. will be like, oh, you're ugly. Mama, nah. I Mama, fucking know, nah. bro. I'm hideous. I don't know what I'm about. Me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the bro, like... don't expose all of us here right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Since you understand, like, I, I don't have the confidence in her like that, but, you know, it's just that, I guess. I, I hope I can get the point across properly. Yeah. Oh, I get yeah. yeah, I get it. I don't, I, I don't, I don't... Yeah, confidence. It's not about, sometimes it's not about them being insecurity. I still think, like, maybe it's because they got, like, envy or jealous. Envy even though they jealous. didn't want to to have that but they can't help it yeah and then it escalate after that hmm I guess. that's why I say like understanding each other is the most important yeah thing. and, and yeah. communication uh, this yeah. is very important yeah. oh. wait now I'm curious Smallest am thing. I the only one that gets easily jealous here no I mean I don't think you're yes I think and jealousy no? is a normal thing <laughs> I, I get no, jealous like, quite uh, I, easily yeah, I, I guess I share the same um Answer is Akani, I guess. Yes and no at the same time. I, I will share yes. with you how easily jealous I get, right? As a starting position of uh, the highest point. Okay. I can get jealous over things of like, you drop a weapon for a person in-game. Or you buy a person an item in-game. Ah, oh, that one a bit too much. Uh. Oh, no. yeah, I don't get jealous. I'll, I'll say it to your face. Uh. You know, but when I, say, I don't get jealous when uh, words are said. Like, you For example, my I have a sneaker other in the past. Yeah, yeah, I have a sneaker other in the past, right? They would call guys handsome or like show me like her friends that are hot and be like, oh my god, he's so fucking hot. He looks so much better than he was quote time time time. I was like, oh damn, that's uh, men's been working out, putting in the effort, you know? Yeah, you know, like damn. He looks actually hot. Like I don't feel anything from the words because words is like how I say. I guess my point of view when you say these kind of things is like you're looking at it at a more objective standpoint. You're not just you're not just like saying to make me feel any sort of way. Because realistically, okay, why would you tell me <laughs> your your boyfriend a guy is hot? No, there's there's two reasons. Uh. One one is to just talk only la. The second one yeah. is to try to stir you up a bit, la, try to get you a <laughs> bit jealous so I can, yeah. so can see you la. see some people enjoy seeing the a bit the like if it goes out of control, no one likes it. But if it, it's like a little bit, uh, sometimes the partner would like to see. Because uh. uh, when when you are like, you don't want to like lose someone, you get like motivated to do something about it, right? and then they kind of like it. It's like but, showing more but, affection in a way. But, but sadly to say I, that, uh, I personally it, don't enjoy it. I think it's dumb. I think it's dumb also because honestly, I can just say this. Uh, it's not an anime. This is life. This is not anime. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm tired, man. Leave me alone. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I wanted to, if I wanted to work on yeah. game things, I would have done it like long Depression ago. Depression and jealousy is the last thing I want. Depression. Could you like, could you like fuck off and eat the McDonald's ice cream I bought for you? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, what's so specific? Uh? What happened? Uh? You know, <laughs> McDonald's ice cream exam. Was it a Sunday or uh, the like... chocolate top? <laughs> if it wasn't a McFlurry, boo. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> what you don't enjoy Sunday cone? Huh? You fucker. <laughs> Weirdly <laughs> enough. Weirdly enough. Not really. I fucking like Sunday. I, I don't really it's enjoy much ice cream to begin good. with. I like what sobe. Oh yeah, sobe is so classy. good, bro. <laughs> They're classy, yeah. Like, I like... You ain't gonna get sobe in McDonald's, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's like McDonald's is the best option. McFlurry. Yeah, but if like McFlurry. ice cream in McFlurry. general. Huh? We somehow oh, no. always come back to ice and food. It's okay, man. <laughs> we do love seasonal sex McDonald's. Uh, seasonal McDonald's uh, McFlurries are the shit. Yeah, you like every time like okay, cause like we have like strawberry McFlurry oh, here, and it's like my favorite. Fuck? Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's what my favorite. Fuck? I love strawberry. Shit, Malaysia don't have. <laughs> ha! I just come to I Singapore then. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the only thing I had is Sunday cone. <laughs> <laughs> I love and everything the, the flavored most strawberry. Luxury that's thing strawberry yes. that is, is Oreo McFlurry, and that's it. Nothing yes, more. Yes, she's so trashy. Yeah, the fuck but now got now got now got the brownie one in Malaysia. 
Oh yeah, we just that, the no, no, no. Also. Sorry, not the brownie one. Sorry, Milo dinosaur. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think we had one. I think we had Milo dinosaur before in Singapore. If I'm not wrong. No. Nice, right? Did we not? We did. We did. We, didn't. we have the brownie one. Oh, the yeah, brownie yeah. one. Y'all had the brownie one. We had the. Dino yeah, that shit was dinosaur. pretty good. Not yeah. gonna lie. But it's I pretty much the same thing. It's just one flavor, little bit different here. Okay. See, the thing is, right? I don't really enjoy ice cream that much. I prefer popsicles and sorbets. I just heard the uh, very distant laughter. Very scary, like Pontianaks, yeah. It is a Pontianak. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah. So like personally, I don't really like ice cream except for like my favorite shop, like my favorite flavors of sh- like ice cream. Like, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Everyone, question to everyone. Strawberry. Just strawberry. Nothing I else. Just like I'm a whole kid, so vanilla is like the best choice for me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Can, man. Calm down, man. Okay, financial stability. Not good, I don't know. Hey, Susu, you can't say that. You too, man. I, 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 I enjoy all the cheapest food because in my brain, if I want to buy, like, let's say, like, 500, uh, what do you call that? The egg sushi, tamago sushi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or would you prefer five lobster? I'll take a hundred tamago sushi oh, or five lobster. Tamago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's cheaper and I can eat more and enjoy it more. While well, five lobster is only five, you know. That's not... Five enough. lobster can settle my five dinner. hundred yeah, tamago I'll be like, Fuck, can man. settle my whole week. No, bro. I go yeah, for I'll hundred enjoy. crab stick. King weirdos. Yes, yeah, hundred like crab stick. It's like... I mean, like, the cheapest thing, right? Over like, The cheapest thing, why? Right? Why? Egg roll? I, I mean, some egg, people... Egg roll, I don't know. Because some people said that if you're given a like, chance, know. right, they'll pick like the expensive one, even though they only keep it a few. But my brain is like, no. Nah, I go for Why cheap, bro. I... Yeah, I, I'm too poor. I, I go for cheap, I enjoy it more, okay? I don't eat like something expensive for a day and then be like, the rest of the day is just like nothing but shit. <laughs> nothing but shit, Sedge. <laughs> but agreeable, agreeable. Oh yeah, but Suzu. Yeah. We did have the Milo Dinosaur McFlurry like, on TV. How yeah. long Yeah. It was like three, four, 2023 uh-huh. now, right? Three, 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 yeah. three and a half years ago. Uh huh. Yeah, but we did have it before. Bro. I remember Bro. it. That's why I'm like, no yeah, way, right? Am I hallucinating? At that rate, it's history. History is still existence. Curry shaker. Memory. Curry shaker fries also now become history already, oh. what? But do I still crave it? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Fuck. Yeah, weirdo. I miss it so much. It's so good. But it always makes my, my nose burn. At the it tastes like it. curry Maggie. It's so good. It's so fucking good. But my nose always burn. Man. Yeah, I, same, same, same. Oh, bro. Talking huh? about sneezing, right? And like nose hurting. I have like this, like, uh, six year long streak of sneezing at a Yusheng because of like the, <laughs> the five f- spice the powder. powder. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, the hot yeah, pepper. Yeah, no, I don't no. know why, right? For the past six years, uh, it's, it's always the one that I do with only my family, okay? But every time my dad pours the powder, right? I don't know, no matter where I sit, right? The wind always blows towards my direction. <laughs> it's some like sung. insane misfortune. Then it just blows into my. Then I just like breathe in. Then I just. Like, <laughs> Bro. Oh, the isang. Yeah, isang. Is uh. Isang got powder one? Yeah, five spice oh. and white pepper, what? My no powder one. What the oh. Huh? Oh. You know the red and green packet? That you tell. No, we don't have. Oh. No. <laughs> Ours is just liao. You don't yeah. put extra thing into the liao one, man. Cannot be you God eat the la, carrot dry, right? La, but not powder, la. <laughs> just, not, just not powder. Because, like, I know that it's like, got the five spice powder, the white pepper, got the, the sweet sauce, got the oil, ah, sauce, got the oil got. peanut. Yeah, Sometimes but... it's already inside, right? But like, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Then got the fish or abalone. Oh, you yeah, oh, that one fancy. Yeah. My one is just random, random fish. Sometimes we got lucky. If you lucky, got fish. If if not, then just normal. Right. <laughs> yeah. Usually uh, got the cracker la, la, Yeah, then the, the cracker, part. which is my favorite. Oh. I literally only eat the crackers, by the way, and like oh. the abalone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I'm a spoiled bread. Abalone, I understand lah, but like <laughs> I'm a spoiled bread. Just the biscuit, I eat. I eat yeah. yeah. Oh, I, eat I, eat, I eat just the crackers. <laughs> like a spoiled bread. Yeah, no, don't worry. I know, I know a lot of people that just eat the crackers. Also, so. <laughs> I am truly 
never growing up. <laughs> but you know, like, <laughs> you know how, like, there's, like, different meanings for the different, like, ingredients, right? Mm. So, right, you know how, like, they put the different ingredient in, then, like, cracker is, like, one of the only ingredients except for the fish that are, like, separate, right? Mm. Hey, usually I eat the yusheng, they usually give salmon, right? Mm. And I don't eat salmon. <laughs> so I always go, nian nian mei yu yu. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Easy gaming. <laughs> then, like, you know how I say, like, the cracker mm. is, uh, tian... Right. Mm. But how come I eat so much of the cracker and I'm still not rich? What the fuck? Hey, I got people throw money at me before and still didn't do shit, bro. <laughs> bro, must be nice. Must be nice. No, no, no. People it's, throw it's, money at me too. It's, a, mm-hmm. it's, it's just a really religion thing that I and my family used to do that I have to go anyways and then yeah throw money huh? <laughs> Sasuga throw money tap, uh. yeah throw money then you tap uh. that's it the only time I throw money is when I start gambling <laughs> wow oh. I'm sorry I don't throw that one that one I take oh. yeah I throw then I sweep you know Oy, oy. You know, no, I don't even throw I just take any it used to be called what golden hand Oh god hen when I gamble in the past because I pick up like any blackjack card right and I'll just win only. Oh yeah, that like, used to I be I never me. go in the losses. You haven't you haven't gambled with Malaysians then? No, I have. My relatives are Malaysian. Singaporeans are weak man. No, yes, no, yeah, no, no, I cannot believe you. No, 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 wait, wait, no, you don't understand. My entire close friend group, right, from childhood till now in Singapore, right, are all Malaysians. Mm. Not no. like born in SG Malaysians are like born M-Y. in Malaysia, come to Singapore to study. Uh, no, the thing is like, yeah, you're, I'm not I'm not laughing and saying like oh a single a Singaporean like oh yeah, weak or anything. No 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 no. It's just I have a lot of experience of people saying, Oh I golden hand, I can I I I keep winning, right? And then when I play them, right, I fucking lose on me, I just laughing in the corner, bro. <laughs> I just laugh in the corner because they had like they, they were so confident and then they started losing. I'm just like, hey, who's <laughs> <laughs> the golden hand now? I got a feeling golden hand only works right in your own house. Yeah. yeah. The host, the host, like, um, I don't know why. Tyson Yeah prefer the host over the visitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, then, then Tyson Yeah is giving me harsh reality then. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually the visitor of your own home. GG. <laughs> Uh, Tyson Ye is like, I, I don't give you extra treatment so you learn a lesson. Next time you play, other people with golden hand, you win. Like, like that. I remember last time I play in my aunt's house. Uh, usually like Chinese, you know, I play at my aunt's house, right? With all my cousins. Not all, uh, but like most of my cousins. And then like all their family are quite rich, right? So, yeah, sorry, I poor, I poor. <laughs> but then, right, so what happened is that they bet very big. They bet like mm. extremely big hands. Like one, like we play uh blackjack, right? They one shot just threw a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar come out. Then later I always cause I'm the youngest, so I always threw like two dollars. Yeah. Harsh reality. Then right. And I wait for the opportune moment where I can earn the most. Then I only put in money. Yeah, yeah. So like pretty much what happened was I remember one time my f- my cousin threw out a huge amount of money. Then I draw. Then later, I just down there, smile. <laughs> then they're like, oh shit. <laughs> then I come out pan pan. Then next round, they say, no, I don't believe she will win again. Throw out more money. Same amount yeah, as yeah. the previous round. Come out, another hand. Pan pan. Huh? <laughs> I pan pan yeah. three times in a row. Then they're like, I hope you get hit by a car when you go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jokingly, la, of course, but... Yeah, quite funny. Like that that session itself, right? I earn like one K plus sing. Oh, what yo. the fuck? <laughs> Why don't I ever go through that in Mahjong? You know, I go to hand in card game, right? But I touch Mahjong Tao, right? I just permanently sitting on final Tao. I have a reason I never touch Mahjong. I tried before when I was younger, never win. Understandable. I I just I just accepted my fate and be like Mahjong is not my type of game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not even online. 
<laughs> Understandable. Oh, actually, I win quite a lot in Manjo now. But I just forever in the cursed situation where I'm on, like, waiting for the last last talk. Well, the thing is, right, during all, all the Chinese New Year gambling stuff, right, I've never actually, like, properly lost, lost, like, in total, like, the whole Chinese New Year. I've never actually, like, lost, lost. Same. Because I even have. if one session I'm losing, right, the next session I'll be winning. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. More than I'm losing. Uh, if, if my first session sucks, right, I just give up for the whole year. <laughs> Damn. Nah, I, 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 I look at dealer one. I look at dealer one. Some, some, yeah, kind of read like. I don't want to make it sound so complicated, but it's just more like reading people. Easier yeah. to deal with. Very Sometimes I walk into a house right at the feng shui, not my luck. So I just feng shui. It's like, oh, how do you see it? Like, you know, I, I think it's some more of like my belief. But when I visit people's house or like when people come over. There's a certain kind of energy that they give off. And then if the energy feels off, like, ah, yeah. It's no go for me, dog. What do you Sasuga white snake demon. Yes, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but then funny. I used to kind of accurate. I, I used to have this, like, crystal face, right? And then, like, so me and my friends, we go and play Taidima. So, <laughs> what happened was, me and my friends, we all brought our lucky item. I brought like three crystal towers, like not very big ones. They're like quite medium size. Like, I'd say like 15 cm. Okay, like, I don't actually consider big, like, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite big, huh? Just a bit big, huh? <laughs> Too so, much, honestly. I, I, I brought them. I brought three. And then I brought like my bracelet, which is like mm. bought by my mama. And then it's Tiger's Eye bracelet. So Tiger's Eye is like for wealth. So I brought it in. I have never left it for... Like, I just instantly draw the cards. I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> luck. You know my what lucky happened? Item, my lucky items are uh, my hand. Your hand? Sasuga. So you're telling me <laughs> if I want to win, I need to chop off your hands. Uh? Idea? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, I think we're straying from the top. <laughs> I've got the cleaver. <laughs> I got the parang. <laughs> Hey, my hand, my hand usually big enough to wrap someone's face. Okay, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> I also, eh, my friend say my hands like, uh, you know the zombie like the face hugger, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is during that gambling session, my friend bought a poster, like brought her poster of Tyson. Yeah, it's damn funny. I don't know why. What the fuck? <laughs> I think about it, I just laugh a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the photo the of Tyson, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's next level. That's Tyson. next level. <laughs> first <laughs> fan girl. <laughs> photo of Tyson, yeah, I cannot, bro. Because yeah, we, we hosted it at her house, right? So she brought a poster of Tyson, yeah, from her room. I was then curious. I was like, why do you have a poster of Tyson, yeah, in your room? She's like, you go lie, you go lie. So me and my like two other friends, we slowly water into her room, right? Then we see two extra posters of Tyson Ye and we're like, what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> she, thinking about it, she really like a Tyson Ye fan girl, damn funny. <laughs> Honestly, right, if I have this tradition and then one of my friends bring Tyson Ye poster, right, the next year I will bring a Teen Kong poster. <laughs> you don't let me win, ah, uh, you gonna. <laughs> oh, then I remember like oh. one of the sessions, right, that we did something similar. Uh, my friend brought her like figurine. It was an R18 figurine. <laughs> What? She's like, my lucky item, R18 figurine. Pah. Then we're like, ah. <laughs> Stare at it, ah. Then we're just like, oh dear. Funnily enough, she won. So <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess it helped. <laughs> Good for you, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, anything to get lucky. You know? Yeah, man. Uh, but talking about, like, I, I just like have a random thought, la, but it's like, you know right how i get constantly i love people love to bash me for my uh shit gameplay so right what is like is it difficult for you to improve at a game but like like okay it's more like how do you balance improving at the game and content creation how do you balance like those two i don't, I don't do that <laughs> i just try hard <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I, I, it's it's weird because it's like when I'm not like streaming. I mean, I don't really stream Apex anymore. But when I'm when I'm playing Apex, right, I will like watch my vote, and then I will sit and like look at what I'm weak at and what I should do, what I should don't should do, <laughs> and then I will like oh, um, if my aim is bad, I'll sit at the training, the the what do you call firing range, huh. and practice my recoil control. And oh, if I want to learn, like let's say war bounce, I want to do it better. Then I'll sit there for four hours and do war bounce. Jesus. Yeah, I'll do that just to get like used to it. Then mm. tracking, aim laps, I guess. Mm. Then other than that, play with stronger players. One v one, I think it's okay, but it's not like the end all to be all like that. Mm-mm. Honestly, for uh, in my opinion, best way. Surround yourself with strong players. Like, play yeah. with strong players more, right? The mm. more you play, the more sense you pick up. Game sense, in my opinion, very important. Something I'm still building, I'm pretty slow <laughs> still considered, in my opinion. So, I feel like uh, surrounding yourself with like, strong players is, is a good way to go. Because um, you, you will find yourself, oh, their aim is good, I need to practice aim. They know how to move this, uh, this way, that way, during a fight. That one I need to learn. They get to this place fast, and then they ignore certain things. That one I have to learn also. Stuff like that lah. Surrounding yourself with stronger players naturally will bring your like own questions. If you're someone that is curious and wants to get stronger, right? If you're desperate enough, you will find a way no matter what. Mm. So, oh. it, for me, is I want to try to like play with stronger players, so I can learn from it lah. Mm-hmm. Also, it's also a good way to go to ask the strong players how to get better la. yeah <laughs> high five what the fuck hey, hey, that's why I've been pestering Suzu hey but don't more, don't more. do not worry when you say your game sense bad it will never be as bad as mine what is your pick rank again Domo diamond 3 2 three. okay diamond. I'm not that far away my pick rank is diamond 3 I think I can't remember no, but the thing is I, when, once I reach diamond I stop ranking la. same same <laughs> same 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 <laughs> So I've never actually like tested how far I can actually read. Ah, you masters now lah, you masters now. Easy game, know, easy no, game. I still diamond. I got yeah, boosted to diamond, diamond, I became about you bro. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, pretty much. What happened? I think this is why yeah. Suzu don't play Apex with me anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, so... What happened, right? Is... <laughs> what happened, right, is... <laughs> Give me frontline octane anchor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, random oh, vel outs. I remember. I remember that. <laughs> random vel outs. Hori, Hori Q don't know go where. Hori out don't know go where. <laughs> Suddenly, half my inventory is grenades. And uh, what else? Ah, uh? actually, I have the opposite of the problem. I I rarely got nade one. Nah, I mean nowadays more lah, but like, mm. last time I no nade at all. Uh, last time it's just I couldn't find any uh, I couldn't find any ammo, so I just carry a shit ton of nades. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I carry They're a funny. shit ton of meds uh, last time. Yeah, I, I usually carry like six to eight shoot beds. Cause I'm a hoarder. Oh wait, eight? Yes. <laughs> eight? Oh. You call wait, yourself eight, six, the hoarder of me- of meds? No, it's me. <laughs> yeah, hey, but not counting other uh, health health stuff, eh? <laughs> Two med kits, six to eight beds, four cells, and four syringe. Three hundred oh. ammo for my AR or SMG. One stack for shotgun or sniper, because I rarely use it to begin with. Oh, I have like a way to like gauge myself now. Uh, two slot always keep for grenade. The first line of your backpack armor, uh, ammo. <laughs> Second, uh, then the rest is heals. Mm. That, that's how I gauge it. Yeah, now, now, uh, mm. I, just is... use, I just take 400 ammo. <laughs> oh, like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so we have, we have different holders. Uh. We have different holders. I uh. want to jitter aim. Hey, that's valid. <laughs> but what I do yeah, is like... I really do it now though. But back then, yes. Mm. I hold the amount of grenades uh, according to my backpack level. So it's my backpack level is level 1, right? Like the white backpack. I carry one grenade. If it's blue, I carry two. Purple, I carry three. Etc. Yeah. Mm. That that's what my GP friend taught me, yeah. So. Oh, I learned that 
in JP without like I just see and then I realize hey, why they always got three nits that they are like the nits they throw the same backpack level. Uh, sorry, like different. Like, I come to realize maybe I'm the weirdest of all of you guys. Why? Because before I started streaming, right, I had a training arm by myself to go from a goal player to a master player and then I started streaming. But then when I started streaming, while playing like absolute dog water at least compared to the standard I would put myself on mm-hmm. I started learning movement so I had to balance out like my gradual movement upgrades while I'm playing and people shitting on me that's why a lot of people like to make fun of how I'm a all aim zero movement <laughs> but now you watch me right it's, it's like so much cleaner now yeah, man. I just shit on people on like I- I still say you have movement. I still say you don't your movement not, not that prominent to be honest. <laughs> your aim is yeah, more scary you, than others, you, but like your movement Yeah, my movement is enough no to longer, survive, like, no? Yeah, it's enough like to not survive. zero it's, anymore. It's it's enough. Uh. Yeah, it's enough to survive. Yeah. Last time right, his movement was so bad, right? To the point he just commit to the fight instead of like fucking like his commitment yeah, to the like fight is a bit player. scary, bro. <laughs> yeah, he became controller player. That's why I was like a movement too. I, I movement is just it's too much commitment if yeah, you want to be a casual player. Yeah. Uh, but at this point, I feel like, can any of us be considered casual? I don't, I don't play Apex no more, so can't read it. <laughs> I don't play like every day. Game general, no. Like, no, I, I, I think know. movement is not crucial, but it can bring certain aspects. Like, for example, uh, like two week, a week ago, I did something to a pet that made me happy. So apparently I was killing a bunch of friends and one of their friends of Brad, but they like they were like in the viewer uh, as the viewer. They were just queuing for fun, uh, but then actually queuing into us. So apparently I super glided past one, one uh, the, the Brad and then like someone else killed me. And not not the Brad. Uh, so and the Brad is like, wow, this one must must kill. <laughs> yeah. So, so then I was like, yes! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> kind of thing. Uh. It, it's like, it's not crucial. Movement is not crucial. As long as you know when to move to like covers and stuff, right? That is the most important. But other than that, right? It's just occasional... Occasional... Very rare that it's actually like really beneficial. The stupid kind of movement like like super gliding and all this kind of shit. Wait, so... I'm curious. Did you do... Did everyone do that by like, training arcs on stream? And did you feel immense pressure from trying to get better on stream we have a bunch of fuckers yes. constantly be like oh you're doing like trash bro what the oh, fuck you're moving no. like that oh your aim's yes. so off today no wow you call yourself master you call yourself diamond get the fuck out of my life no I have never experienced that in my life I, I did I did holy shit because like I remember one comment right was like I just remember it so clearly it's like they were like Huh? You are diamond? You have the movement of a bronze back then rookie wasn't introduced. <laughs> you have movement of a bronze yeah. player and like... aim of a silver. Oh, Even shit. if you add them up, it's still gold. How are you? <laughs> I was like laughing my ass off. I was like, hmm? Don't you? Boosted low. Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. I, I, honestly, I can say I've never had those kind of experience. Like, I have no pressure to perform better. It's just I myself wanted to do better. That's it. Mm. Oh. I, why? Why? Is that surprising? Like, yeah, because for my case, right, when I first started, I was really good. You know, I started because, I, I started streaming because I already felt like I did that. Like, that good in my eyes. Streaming made me set another level above what I thought was, like, <laughs> good enough for a casual. And then because of that new level, I'm no longer casual. Nice. <laughs> I, think, I think with what I'm gonna say can kind of bring us back to the topic, right? It's like, <clears throat> okay, so the main topic was supposed to be uh, uh, improvement in game and content creation, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like, right, because with the path I've taken, is actually kind of built from literally nothing. Like, I streamed a year without being a failure to slowly build myself even to 50. I've actually been, I actually streamed for like three half years now, can consider. Uh, it took me a year to actually get affiliate. But granted, I wasn't putting in that much effort and stuff like that. Lah, but uh, 
I've gradually surrounded myself with like people who either don't say this kind of thing or don't dare to say this kind of thing. Mm. So it's like the fact that because if someone says it, right, they have to back it up. You better be able to back it up or like. I don't know how to explain. So if someone says something like this, right, they have to back it up. Uh, like you better be able to back it up. Or you'll be just seen as someone that just start issue for no fucking reason. And then everyone will Well, keep an eye out for you lah. Since you know, start shit for no reason. Lah. <laughs> Maybe right, it's because I don't know, but it's just my perspective or my own streams, right? Maybe it's just cause I started my stream. The goal isn't my personality. Like the content isn't me. The content is like the level of play I'm at. Mm where people tune in to watch me shit on people and send them back and not say a single thing and be completely calm. So mm. they expect me to take this kind of criticism and be like, ah, yeah, that's always G, you know. You got some flaws. I'm like, I'm well aware I got flaws. <laughs> you know, we're yeah. all human. No, no God here. No Kami, bro. Chill out. No Kami, with, with what you just said, I can say it's perspective-based. You may seem that, okay, people want to just see me shit on people. Okay. But I can tell you for a fact that it's just not people just look, uh, just watch you shit on people. I tell you, right, if that's the fact, right, not much. Like, you will have less, what's it called? Regulars. If they literally just watch you storm on people, right? Let's just say if you go watch like pro leagues, like one, one player in specific, and then you watch them play pubs. You watch them storm, you, you also want, either one is you will feel like you want to play yourself and then you will just live in the background. Or two is you will get bored of it and then like watch something else, right? Yeah, I, I feel like this is from asking them myself. It's like they tune in for the gameplay and then they stay also partly is the gameplay but it's also like a mix of both. Lah. But you know, the gameplay is still mixed up there. And because I'm so, like, okay with criticism. Like, yeah, I'm fine with you com- complaining about my aims bad today. My... I'm not performing to standard. What's the what's the? I feel that way too. It's I okay. into your stream not because of your gameplay, bro. Yeah, no, no, I see, like, this is, like, the perspective so of, like, <laughs> the, yeah. of the people <laughs> who actually tune in to, for both, like, I'm like, okay. But then, I never mentioned it before, but being reminded of my movement is kind of ass. Made me actually go and learn movement on stream. And then I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a positive thing or a negative thing. I'm taking it as a positive thing as how I got better at the game. Lah. I started enjoying movement. But mm. oh my god, I became so much harder on myself. Like before I was like fucking mean to myself about my aim being ass. Every shot I miss, I'm like, oh I'm fucking dog shit this guy. Just quit. But then I like push myself to continue until I hit the rank I felt I, I should get at that level. Lah. Then after that, I started streaming, and then <laughs> it just created a whole another hellhole of okay, the flaws are endless now. <laughs> like no, even no, when yeah. I think I'm like insane, right? There's just another hellscape to climb now. Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's never ending. It's never ending. Hmm. This is why I completely disregard. Like I completely disregard. Oh, the, oh. Oh, uh, I'm not. I'm doing bad here. I'm doing bad there. No, I I still do that, but I don't be like, <laughs> I have to quit the game. Oh, uh, like oh uh, oh shit, I'm damn terrible. I'm like oh I'm damn shit, but I I, I don't like hold it over myself. It's like ah shit shit yeah, tomorrow tomorrow I'll shit on people instead. I don't shit on myself. I guess depends on how you use it. I guess I don't mm. like drown in the. I, I I don't use that negative energy and drown and die. I'm like okay okay. <laughs> <laughs> what what has she go me this <laughs> time to become pro <laughs> six thousand year training arc I'm so sorry <laughs> I, I just okay, keep playing hard. and pushing oh. through mm. I'm also I mean, keep a hard myself but if someone's like try to like shit talk and stuff they're like telling me like when I know I'm wrong I would be like you know what fuck it fuck this game I suck High five, my brother in arms. You're like, fuck this. I don't oh, play pe- people don't I mean, like I to... I don't want to touch. I don't even play with you. 
Ever again, man. Fuck you for invite for for like me trying to do my best. <laughs> people people don't like to criticize my Apex gameplay. I feel because the the moment they criticize it is like, cause the way I view criticism is, I guess on a pretty positive way. So the reasons uh, like the moment someone say, oh, uh, you, you you do quite bad, and then yeah, oh, you're this 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 this. Or so then, oh, okay, thanks, thanks for like like noting it. I'll, I'll, I'll try to improve in this this like this. I mean, if it's random people, then, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, yeah, I, I no, I the thing is right. Even with random people, I do that. Oh. So. I, I, I think at that point, right, they won't have anything to say because it's like, oh, I've taken note of that and I'm going to, like, be, uh, I, I, will, I will, like, improve, try to improve in that, that area, right? What else are you going to say? I might just go <laughs> take a L pass ratio here because I don't know whether it's people are expecting me to always play at the best performance. But <laughs> even if I say, oh, yeah, I know, it doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> The you community that, own, that uh. you like harvest, sorry. Mm. It's a thing that you said. It's a thing that they said, and then I don't know. I feel like maybe before this you didn't say much, so people is like, oh, he's okay with this, so you should like mm. do like be more open to it or stuff like that. And that's why I'm quite happy with like my like stream yeah. uh, stuff, because in terms of like community wise, right, I feel like mine is pretty good, cause like. This close to no negativity, like, cause everyone is respectful and stuff like that. I, 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 I tend to like to surround myself with people that is respectful. Uh, yeah, just don't and, be a dick overall. Yeah, just don't be a dick lah. Basically, yeah. I, if dick hit, I, I seem kind of shit. Okay, right. So, I, f- I don't I know for me. Like, keep it. So why my very shop? I feel like my community, I kind of fucked it because I went and <laughs> went ahead and uh. Started yeah, treating sure. all of them like messages, submissive bitches, and let them to Dang. try harder. So now they retaliate by asking me to try harder. So maybe yeah, I yeah, perpetuated you my saw. hellhole. No, no, you, you, you read what you saw. That one I sure I can tell you. Yes, you, you made your own hellhole, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like enabling them to do. It. You 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 tell them like bitch, just do better, try harder. I will <laughs> tell them yeah, it, it it takes time. You can do this. You can do that. And I I put in the time and just like make them feel more like. Yeah, um, if I just put more time and then practice, then can. But then if you're a bitch, just do better. Then they're going to be like, bitch, <laughs> you do no, bad that time, I'm going like, to do the same thing. Uh. I, I mean, because I always uh, joke around my regulars. I'm like, yeah, just do better, Lamau. I know you can do better. Try harder. You're not trying hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 I know you got it. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly it's like. I would say the same thing, but just because I want to be, uh, just because I want so high. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, nice. I. I think I do it so regularly to the regulars whenever they're like having a bad time. I try to like Joe Roy them. And new people come in and they see that that's the norm. And now I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> so yeah, so now that's your that's your community, bro. Yeah. Bottom I, I, bitches they like to say try harder do they. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, so that's why I'm I'm very careful with, with I guess my community. Like who Like what actions uh, you condone? N- no, uh, actions I'm actually pretty lax on. But, like I said, like, okay, in terms of community, right? Like, our personality difference, right? It's like, oh, yeah, you will joke around your, your, what's it called? Your regulars, and then you'll be like, hey, bitch, just do better. I know you can do better. Stuff like that, right? Uh, but yeah. with my, with me, with my regulars, right? It's just like, uh, wow, I, I, I damn shit now. And then I'll be like, ah. Huh? Uh, now nah, you're just having a shit day now. If you play regularly again and then you practice, right? And then muscle memory will kick in. You will get back to where you were or even better. And then I'll, I'll, I'll start ranting about my own pers- like experience, shit like that. And then, yeah, they, then they'll be like, yeah, I, I just need more time. Ah. <laughs> Damn. You are so positive. What yeah, man. Fuck? Hey. Even your community is positive. Must be nice. <laughs> uh... The thing is, right, my viewers are all streamers. My but... community is a love child between hate crime and mean <laughs> lords. Oh. Uh, my community is consists of streamers uh, and very, quite ex- to the extreme level of wholesome people. Because wow. it's because I... It, it's... Entertaining a, a someone 
that is like overly wholesome has its own benefits. I don't even know what my community is aside from people who love tea. Which is why the whole server is called Tea Cafe now. Oh, you, you want to know my server's name? <laughs> the most hidden cave. Oh my god. Dude, why is like... I'm so confused, you know, with my viewers. Like, obviously they want to watch me play an FPS game because that is what does the best. But at the same time, there's some people who just stick around no matter what game. And I could not be talking about the game and just talk normally and they'll still be there. So then I'm confused. Okay, so what are you here for? So I'm like, okay. my are here the, for you, man. The viewer yeah. base is so split within so many different enjoyers that I'm just like, how am I hitting everything? The only way I satisfy everyone need is just launch Apex. Let's go. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I understand. Certain, certain like people, right? It's just... Calling. <laughs> 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 no, it's not. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Permanent Apex streamer. It's your calling. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, shut the fuck up and launch Apex. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, watch you go play rank now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, it's like you mentioned just now, where there are just people that hang around, even no matter what you play, right? Is I guess it's just because people got different tastes in like stream and stuff, right? And you just so happen to check the chat box uh, for them, uh, like those who feel like they can just chill around your chat no matter what you play and be quiet. Mm. I'm going to be honest, most of your regulars are quite quiet. Uh, so. yeah, yeah, they pick it up from the streamer, I guess. Yep, they learn no, from no, no, truly no, no, no. the best. I don't feel like I don't feel like they pick up. They already naturally quite like one. They just come in and eat. No, they naturally quite. They got worse. Yeah, they got worse. They learn new sentences to use now. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's because you Suzu teach them new sentences. Influence. That's on you. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, I think honestly, it feels like we've cleared this topic, and I kind of want to extend off this topic to a topic that I've been thinking about. And I've been asking around, but do you have an ideal viewership that you like? Like, for example, a certain type of viewer that you think you are aiming for, but can't seem to grasp what you're doing wrong to achieve it. I want to aim for all the oilers in the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I think that's everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to out me like that, man? People click the start shooting button for a reason, okay? <laughs> Let's be real with ourselves. You click start a stream button that is... Two motives. One is cause you're lonely as fuck, and two is cause you want money. Why this book? Oh, join the club. Why must you call me? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I, I, I have I I Just have the first time. The reason why I started streaming, right? It's not because of anything above there. I just wanted to have my own emote because I couldn't pay for anyone. <laughs> what the fuck? That's actually Yo, honestly, so valid though. That's just how I started streaming. And then after they got like a different reasons here and there. And then oh, it, it, okay. grows, it grows, it grows, it grows. Yeah, it grows. Yeah. I guess before we go on to the viewership, if you're okay sharing, you know my reason of starting stream, right? Was yeah. this damn stupid. At the time, I only got 500 gigabyte of space. <laughs> so my internet was 1 gigabyte and it was so strong. So I was like, how about I store like my clips and gameplay on Twitch? That's valid. <laughs> that's how I started streaming. Yeah, that's valid. And it's so stupid because the, over time when I met more people and actually came in and stayed, like the first people who came in and stayed and like talked, then I'm like, oh shit, this is a good cure for depression, loneliness, lack of money. <laughs> lack of money, <laughs> I like... felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> like my main reasons of starting a stream, like starting... Uh, to stream right actually a bit cringe to say but like I still think it's a nice reason uh, that I will hold myself it, it sound a bit bullshit one but that's because nowadays right like streamers is a bit diluted a lot of people won't believe the shit you say sometimes is I do not see myself achieving this magically I know how much effort I'm putting in and know how much more I can do the thing is, my main goal in the first place of starting streaming is... Now, I mean, number one, I'm, I was lonely. Yeah, I was quite lonely. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to have people to talk to. Also, I wanted to one day reach 
uh, the goal of no matter what I game I play, no, if I'm streaming, right? And then the viewer c- come in and then they tell me or they want to like chat and then they ha- they are having a bad day, so on and so forth. Du-du-du-du-du. And then if I somehow magically can make them feel better, I've done... I've, I I will feel achieved and I feel like I've like done what I set out to do, uh, which is one day is be able to sustain myself at the same time making people feel like wow I feel better just by talking to this random stranger on on the internet hmm. and that that's like the ultimate goal uh. but of course it's, you need a way to sustain yourself in the first place so yeah no <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Like that. So but yeah on to actually I got quite dessert. a I got quite a few of reasons eh. I don't really have like a solid one reason, you know. I have like three, four reasons of why I started. But like, firstly, it's cause like, okay, how I decided I want to be a VTuber instead of like a normal streamer, right? It's mm. cause my friends also of the first few like SG um, VTubers. He got mm. sponsored, cause he was like a face cam streamer before. <clears throat> Then he got mm-hmm. sponsored by, I think, V-Roy Studio. Oh, sheesh. So he got a model. Yeah, I thought I was like, eh, damn cool, eh. I don't need to show my face, yeah. I get to, like, wear pajamas and stream. Damn cool, <laughs> eh. That is exactly what I do, by the way. <laughs> no shame. Hey, comfort. Yeah, exactly, bro. And then, like... Yeah, yeah, that's good. Another reason is because, like... I wanted to have something that could fill up like kind of like take my mind off things so mm. it's like a distraction uh. mm. so yeah i was like you know it's like i already like play game i'm really like playing a game that is damn sleeper because like, i started off with gbf grand blue fantasy mm. it's a damn sleeper game okay you press auto and then you stare at the screen if something go wrong you faster unclick the auto <laughs> that's all a, i don't understand i can't handle that <laughs> So like because of that, right, I was like, shit then, this game's damn fucking boring, it's damn lonely, but I'm still addicted, god damn it. So like I streamed mm. the game, then I was like, you know, I get to talk to people. Of course, you know, at the start, you don't, because nobody fucking watches you, but actually, you know where. My start got like a few people, which is like, either my actual friends that are streaming already, or people who are just like, dropping by from the genre because Grand Blue is a very it's not a like it's not saturated at all mm. it, there's really not a lot of streamers for Grand Blue so mm. it's quite nice then another reason is also like to help other people not face like the not really not face it's like help people face the issues that they are already like facing mm. From like one fellow depressed kia to another fellow depressed kia, you know that kind of feelings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was just like kind of like my few reasons of starting to stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. That is a good reason. But yeah, man. It's kind guess, of interesting. Sorry. So I guess after you guys, I, I feel like all of us had our starting reasons, and then we kind of evolved from there. Yeah. So okay. now, what is your ideal viewer aside from the obvious fact? A man with an infinite oil tank. <laughs> Damn, you have to do that to me. Why? <laughs> Denied. He cannot be an infinite oil Other tank. Other than Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I personally wanted to... Actually, I don't really want to stream anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I just don't like talking. I fucking realized that. But then, like... I really want. I really wanted to grow my. Uh, it's art. My art channel. No, no, not art channel. My art page. Let's stream and. And then art. one Don't way is to ask stream, right? Yeah, but it's like so fucking boring with you. But you I have the even... skills. You have the skills. Okay. Yeah, man. I not to be like shit talk on like art streamers, but I don't have the patience to watch someone draw. You don't, but others like... do. That's why That's people will watch you. Because okay. for me, right. I, I like, I have like this mentality of thinking like if I don't like it, why would I think that others would? Others would like it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll be surprised. 
So it's like when I watch someone stream, right? Stream art and then they just don't talk and they do nothing and then I just watch them draw like a line for like an hour. Then I'll be like, fuck man, this is Bro, boring. I can't. Let me just, just, just tell you this. There's no one talking. You go, you go with, you last, next time, right? If you plan to like start and finish one art piece uh, with mm. one stream, right? Record it, time, time lapse, put it on TikTok and like YouTube or some shit. And then, like, over time, you continue to do this, right? You will see people fly in, right? You don't talk, people still watch. Yeah, but that's different because it's, like, three minutes. It's not, like, six hours of drawing a single line, you know? You know what I mean? (laughs) Drawing a single line. On that point of view, a bit. uh, Yeah, I I can tell that you you, you would say something about it already. Yeah, yeah, because I I don't want to produce content or, like, stuff. I wouldn't want to watch. But then... It's so weird because the kind of view I want would be like me, you know. But I surprisingly managed to pull viewers that don't really have the same interests. Or like, they share a bit of it. Just a speck of it. It's not like the main people who are like mm. me who watch. Not and, exactly like you, but... Yeah, like, like, like I, I consume a copious amount of relaxing content. Like, you think I sound tired? I actually am, well, aside from actually having so a tired voice. you sound tired, yes? Yeah, yeah. So, so all the stuff I watch is like, chill, joke, talking about life, or like, uh, j- like audio dramas, where they are like, role-playing a situation, or clips of like, the game, and that's like, the content I strive to try and get, but for some reason, even though I think I'm doing a half-decent job at producing it, I seem to only get a fucking bunch of so high. <laughs> you cannot escape nah. your fate. I fucking love them, but like, okay, I have never thought I would. Like, it feels like I attracted the opposite of the demographic I was kind of aiming for. Which is why I'm like, ask this question because I can't be the only one who had like the idea of what we want people to enjoy but end up with like what we have now and of course we are all grateful for the viewers we have you know because thanks for, for watching real, us one or yeah. two. thanks for watching <laughs> and, you know, it's like Jesus thank you for enjoying what the fuck I say I say shit carelessly I hate my voice but for some reason you love my voice what the fuck yeah, I know right yeah, yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck that's me that's me <laughs> <laughs> I know that's yeah. you so, I mean, you mentioned, I guess, that's like, my side, it's like, holy shit, it's so weird. <laughs> I used to uh, consume a copious amount of chaotic content, but as evident, evidently, uh, my content is not as chaotic as, as it is. It is occasionally quite chaotic, but like, not a copious amount. So, I can kind of tell you, mine my view with yours is quite the opposite. Because honestly, I can view myself as the chill kuai lan. So, actually in my chat, quite a lot of kuai lan zan. It's just, they will occasionally come in kuai lan and then disappear. That's it. What the fuck? <laughs> I've, I've always had like, people coming in tell me to draw this character and then they disappear. Like, mm. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Imagine being good enough in art for someone to do that to you. That would be I the feat. I would help you draw if I could finish it in like 5 seconds. Sorry, I can't. No shit thrown, but unfortunately on the platform we are on, it's very sensitive. Mm. One wrong word, everyone will be like, Hey, what the fuck is that? We created you! <laughs> We are your viewers! We reign supreme! I signed up for this. That's why, <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm so happy with uh, with where I am with streaming is because if I say something wrong, nobody can give a shit because everyone is like, ah oh, yeah, he actually say one. Relatable to some yeah. extent. Somewhat, <laughs> yeah. My jokes become like people. iconic and then it sticks or like a joke my friend made and it sticks. Reference. Copy pasta Suzu. I miss the old Suzu. <laughs> <laughs> always one next Suzu. I, I'm looking away. I'm looking away. 
that is that is goal okay that is, that is I made solid it. goal i made yeah, it that by is, the way that is wonderful that is amazing thank you it took me so long to think of it i'm joking by the way it took me like one minute <laughs> i don't know how but the jokes always stick it is and... it is solid goal as content and meme <laughs> You cannot deny the fact that that is not content, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, every time it's some pussy, I start laughing as well. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> this shit again. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I also miss the Osuzu. I also want to never miss Suzu. Come back. We like. <laughs> we are Paula. <laughs> Wait. Well, yeah, okay, so. Seeing, right? To route back to your question. Uh, viewer based target. Uh, very uh, chill quiet lunch, yes. Valid. Chill quiet lunch. So, honestly, the best community is the chill quiet lunch, in my opinion. Mm. So, to a certain extent, they will bullshit with you. But when they know it's the boundary, right, they will stop. And then, when you need them to be chill, they will be chill and be there. It, it, that's like ideal, in my opinion. Those who just come in and chill and then occasionally joke with you because they feel that comfortable to do so, that is like the best audience in my opinion. Valid, for me lah, for me. Akali? Mm, personally, uh, someone who yeah. is willing to just fuck care my gameplay, care more about my personality, and like willing to like interact and like literally like have fun that's just what i want instead of people just going oh what the fuck why are you so bad at game hmm. life life. No, i'm just kidding <laughs> 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 sorry man i don't mean to call out anyone but like <laughs> i i guess to expand on that for Akane's side, do you think your current view base is where you want it to be or do you think you can do more to shape or like target the audience you want to try and grab more of. Hmm. 100%. That one... 100% I... Sorry? Oh. No, continue, continue. Uh, I wanted to just say, uh... We're halfway there. Ah! <laughs> 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 it is your halfway there. I seem to have tried to find the starting point right but i still can't see the starting point in at least from my point of view right i have yet to see the path i want to reach like to me it's like a foreign idea now because i've kind of just lived with the fact that yeah my viewers are idiots yeah but they're like my idiots you know yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're idiots but you're my idiots <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah like yeah, come here stupid. but you're, you're all still my homie kind of vibe you know Mm-mm. So I don't know man I, I feel like I should give up On trying to Aim for the audience now But then At the same time I still really want To build That Certain viewership Or like Certain fan base up I just don't know mm. How to get there What the fuck is, uh, The thing it's is hard Because right. it's based on Your personality too Whether yeah. you want to build more Also You right. can't say that You cannot say that I want to build like People who watch Solely for my gameplay but you have to tell yourself whether it's like realistic or not. Are you like insanely yeah, the enough? Yeah, realistic level, yeah. Right? Mm. Mm. Like you want to have like, you want to build like, I don't know, it's it's like based on your, what you could achieve and the mm. current current level, I guess. You I totally still try, agree with that. You can still do it, but you have to work on certain things to reach that goal. That's for sure. I know, right? Like I've come to realize that, I don't know if you have this view on your streams, but it all started with a joke one of the person that became my mod <laughs> made. He was like, Suzu, Suzu, do you ever realize that your streams are cut into segments? There's a few hours where you are talking while playing the game. Then there are a few moments where you are completely zoned in like Krokono Basuki. You suddenly hit the zone and then it just turned no into plastic. the second fourth coming of God and wiped out everyone. And I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. And then there are some times where you just don't play the game. AFK on the loading screen. <laughs> and suddenly, you're talking about tea, philosophy, like, motivation for living, 
like some some very serious topic, and then it's like, oh yeah, I guess now that you mention it, I can kind of see like my stream cut into all these different segments. So then you think, if you just click these parts of your segment and kind of like promote it, you can get the view base you want. Not that simple to be honest. Same issue. Imagine. Imagine, you cannot Excuse imagine you. me like what, <laughs> I mean, you cannot imagine me like play Apex and do art, right? When I do art, I'm like the most silent and dead person in the world. But when I play Apex, I'm like a fucking clown. <laughs> the whole circus. Yeah. Paint him white, put a red nose, fucking most hell. The noisiest, the most in- weirdest kid. When I play Apex, but when I play, when I draw, when I do art, it's like, hey guys, this is me. Oh. I draw. <laughs> yeah, I draw. And then it's like, it's like very straightforward. Oh. Okay. It's not like, I don't know. I just kind of clung around when it comes to drawing. Know, when you draw, right, just put music and then occasionally look at chat. Legit, you will do, you will do, yeah. you will do amazing. <clears throat> With you, your level. Like, I do you want to play my own music though. Point. I don't want people to know my, what do you call that? Mixtape. <laughs> yeah. No way, Shelly! No, oh, like that! Sounds so sus. I, I, happen to be, yes, yeah. I happen to be very interested in music. I just like, I'm gonna listen to the music, but I will mute the, what do you call that? The uh, stream the audio. One, yeah, the stream, bo- the sound. Oh. So I'll yeah. play like, music. a loop music for you guys. I got a bit self conscious, right, when I used to stream, when I was starting out, that people wouldn't like my music taste because from past experiences, right? In personal friend groups, right? I have shit music taste in the groups. Hey, oh yeah, same, like, same. <laughs> Until you I know? found my people. Then we all have similar <laughs> music taste. Same! I never that. Not Relatable same. For my real, viewers for never real. talk about the music. Maybe once in a while, my mom will ask for the song link or the track. Uh. But usually, right, no one talks about it. So I have no idea, right, if my music taste is goated or is too niche. Because I like lo-fi. And like calming music. And then Your music cannot go wrong. <laughs> I suddenly spiral to the other spectrum of I like aggressive rap. <laughs> I like Chinese rap. <laughs> I like I like I like rap in general, but I don't like gangster rap. That's the one rap I, I don't I really like. I saw your tweet, bro. It's like yeah, yeah. I, I, I enjoy Chinese rap recently. I was like, huh? <laughs> no, I, I all along enjoy it, but like I don't know, Chinese rap usually, right? They rap about depression and they keep the vibe same. You know? Uh, Japanese songs for real, for real. Yeah, but nowadays, right, a lot of these new Chinese rappers, they rap depressive stuff, but the vibe is very high tempo, very like, kind of like, fuck so this kind of real. like, world, you know? My entry yeah, to like... Japanese songs, man, legit. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it I sounds, don't know. It's like the meaning damn depressive, but you sound like you're listening to a hype song. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I love it so much. I'm like, how do you guys perceive yeah. like, songs? Yeah. Guys, like, for me, right, songs are just songs. I cannot... Oh, even bro. if I know I'm emotion. Yeah, yeah, even if I I never even if it's English, right? I was still not I was still like don't understand what they're saying. It means like as simple as like twinkle, twinkle, little star, that kind of shit. Bro. Right? Nice. I couldn't even understand I wouldn't understand it, right? I, I don't know why. It's like for me it's just <laughs> beeps and the boobs. I I think I guess how I enjoy music right from my music plays really fast. I like funk, lo-fi, rap, and then I like city pop. And I only like these four genres, right, for one very specific reason. I don't listen to music to like uh just get the atmosphere change. It's like the emotional feeling, like even if I don't understand the song, yeah, I will go and find the lyrics here really like the song, of course, the meaning of the song. But it's the emotion it like instigates in your when you listen, you know. It's like the current mm. feeling, right? Yeah, like like you listen to form you like in the no mood way. to focus. And the beep and the boom guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know, like but, I feel this song because of the lyrics. Oh no! I, yeah, I, I don't because no. The thing is, right, I I think my viewpoint compared to yours is quite opposite. I, I'm I'm quite the in like. I I don't know for me right. The type of music and what music I listen to can drive, uh, like my how my day goes. Hmm. Even if it's going to shit, right? I li- I listen to I hear a new song that is like very much like my taste, right? I can be I'll be I can I can turn the day from from down to up, man. 
It's quite mm. opposite for me. It's not... Uh, and to... I, I guess to make it more detailed is... Not... It's usually... The, it's not just the lyrics. It's a lot of things to apply into the thing. Uh, I, I'm also someone who feels a lot, I guess. I don't know how to say it. I, I need to feel the emotion from the singer yeah. to resonate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I just have to, I just hear, I just have to hear a bit of, what's it called? A bit of passion from the sing. Like, no, no, a bit passion. If, if they try to, if they actually try to sing, right? Then I can, then uh, the song is good. Fun, it's okay with me. Yeah. Fun fact, right? This reason is the reason why I can't listen to K-pop. I don't enjoy it because oh, I don't no. know why. It always feels so artificial. A yes, lot of I agree. I agree. Like, okay, like I, I need songs that, this is gonna sound damn fucking cringe because I say in my head and it sounds fucking cringe. I need the human spirit to be felt. <laughs> you talk as if the okay. AI, you talk as if like K-pop idols are robots and it's very funny. No, no, no it, it's, it's not their voice, you know. It's just how I say the style. I, it, I don't know. It, it's just a feeling. It feels formulated, like. You know, okay. all, no, no song okay, is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. No song is like perfect, you know. Yeah. There are like flaws in songs. But when it comes to K-pop songs, right, what? it always feels like there's a done and right like pattern or like yeah, they always yeah, feel... Like yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so... Sorry. Yeah, yeah, so you see, it's like... <laughs> I can't really feel it. Compared yeah. to like Japanese, Chinese songs, English. I found, I, English also, it's like some English songs are like no go. Yeah, I, I agree. Mean, maybe it's just not, I think it's genre. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, really yeah, like. Yeah. Okay, I used to like idol songs. <laughs> idol songs. But then, like, recently, it's just for me, it's just like, it's too happy. It's too happy. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Uh, oh. I can't listen to idol like, for the same reasons. Yeah, actually. It's okay. like it's like they eat like happy pills and then they're trying to shove it into your face. That's how oh. I felt. Yeah, feel it's happy. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it's no. Like, I get it. It's, I get it. it's I get a it. very, very positive, happy vibe kind of a song. When it, when <laughs> I, need, it, I don't know, it's just. I need the idol well, song to bring like out that. emotions, okay. not just uh, not, some not just happy event. Yeah. It's and then it's pretty like tame. It's not like there's no like hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm, mm, mm. It's, it's just it's one tone and one way. Yeah. It's mm. not I'm, like I'm so curious because I don't think she's talked about it. What is your take on it, Can, can I can I be very honest with you? Yeah. I kind of lost I kind of just my brain just shut down already just, ding, 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 yeah. just I, I kind of just lost track of whatever you all just said you need what, to give me the question music music oh music, music. Yeah. the beeps and the boops which part of what, what, what's the exact question of music Suzu the it's your question bro okay no no no, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm, the original question of the was that do you feel self-conscious about your music being played on stream because you're really talking about it? Oh. But then, my, yeah, I don't, f- I don't know whether I have shit music or not because no one talks about it. So now it's like, me le, you, know, you? Personally, i quite okay. I don't really care too much. Like, you know, if you find my music they shit, uh, fuck you. I mean, I mean, uh, good for you. <laughs> your opinion is invalidated get the fuck out of the stream pretty much yeah <laughs> don't like my music <laughs> taste <laughs> my music isn't even that loud if you if you really can't stand it then uh, I, I guess good luck have fun the door's right there get the fuck out pretty, pretty much <laughs> honestly but uh, if you're saying as in my songs as in like my covers uh, please please don't it makes me cringe a bit on the inside especially if I'm watching cover? it yeah yeah you know, I used, I, to, I, mean, I, that link. I used to tease her to death because I yeah, played man. her song. Because hey, I actually, I need that link. Yeah, I would just like, uh, I would just mute the stream for like three minutes and then I'll come back. Because she covered the a song I really like, you know. Which one? I won't tell you the song. All you get is part of the name. It's called There's Shoujo Inside the Neo. Oh! Which one are you thinking of? Which one? Shoujo Ray. Haha, you're get so close so far. <laughs> get fucked, so. Fuck loser. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh. Hmm. Wait, no? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, well, wait so, uh, how do you enjoy 
the song. Side songs in general now. That's like where we extended from after the whole self conscious about viewer. It's also like a song that How has do you so shojo in the name. <laughs> enjoy songs it's not so as in like <laughs> or enjoy showing my songs on stream, is it? Like showing what what like my playlist on stream? No, like after no, the enjoying like how to say we all like music for different reasons, obviously. Not everyone has the same like so mm-hmm. what is like your one uh, you know? Oh, what's my favorite genres, is it? So what's your music taste? Uh, yeah, basically. Okay, yeah, okay. Share with the classroom. Uh, uh, I'm scared, yeah. mom. Uh, <laughs> I, I know one of it, and I say, not an L. What, which one? <laughs> you shared a place with me about it. I got so many, I got two playlists that I shared with you. The rap one and then the uh, rave one. Okay, to be fair, the rap one, right? You didn't share. You didn't share the riff one. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I shared the rap one with you very long ago, but okay. Uh, the riff one, yes. That shit was my favorite. A lot of like rhythm game songs or like artists from rhythm games. Usually their songs are bops. And I'm talking about like hardcore. Yeah. That shit, that shit burst in, bro. Uh, if it's not that, then I go to the very, very opposite end. Um, you know, like those like games. I, I don't know. I don't know what's the genre. Game OST. It's like yeah, it's like game OST, but like make it very melodic, and it sounds like it's coming from heaven. Mm. Okay, let me version of game music. Is it? Let me give you an example. You know, uh, Kane Salvation from near. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sounds like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, it's like very fun. game, yeah, no game, game <gasps> opera, opera. Very yeah, I get, I guess so. Game opera ish, uh, like fantasy like opera, but vibe. like more game style. Yeah, like very fantasy vibes. Otherwise, I just want something that is shouting in my ear or uh making my brain go numb or the, or just like songs that got a lot of <laughs> oh like... that sentence oh, I feel it for real for real <laughs> <laughs> but got a lot of different songs actually. I have a very wide range of songs that I listen to. But yeah, la, my go-tos are always like um, funk rap and um, very melodic songs. Yeah. So what do you look for in the music that you like? Mm, either really, really catchy beats and lyrics or something that like really can like kind of transport you to another world. Yeah, I did okay, dream a lot. So yeah, yeah, on the your no, your rule spectrum, the beeps and the boops. <laughs> sort <laughs> of. It's like kind of like I listen to it, I can like imagine like a scenario or something. Mm. Oh wait. I'm oh, a daydreamer, I'm sorry. On me then. Because when I listen to music, right, the one that I love the most are the one where you hear, you close the eye, boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those those are like imagine oh so good, man. To music. And you sleep to people screaming at each other at the top of their lungs. I I can't sleep to music. But I can sleep to people being passionate about things they like. It's why I watch a lot of video essays. I wanted to make one myself, but I don't have anything I'm strongly passionate about aside from philosophy. But then philosophy is such a saturated place because guess what? Philosophy has been talked about for 2,000 years. Yes. <laughs> I also got white... White apex snake demon. All right. Yeah. Very I mean, much the vibe. Oh yes, sir. Uh, if you and if you, you think vibe wise, right? right? It's not right. <laughs> I can't shape the brand to my personality without realizing. I guess. No, oh, uh, you you build your character around what you, uh, what what you feel. Uh. You, yeah. you no, said no, this before. Okay. Uh. No, here's a fun fact. Okay, my character wasn't built after I found my personality. He was built from a 13-year-old version of me who wanted to be like that ideal kind of guy. <laughs> this dude, this so, dude is Chunibyo. So yeah, yes. yeah, I was so Chunibyo when I was younger and so creative. And I was like, not a loner, but I would hide it like to my other group of friends who like oh, were, quote, quote, popular kids. So I was like, yeah, I wanted to be this tall guy who's a lot calmer than I am now. Someone who can quell his rage 
when he gets angry and upset, someone who don't shout anymore. <laughs> and then I've completely like ran like straight ahead without realizing that I end up becoming what I wanted to be as a kid. That's like, oh fuck, what the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. So my ideal guy actually became my beautiful guy. <laughs> nice. So basically he embodied the Inchuni. <laughs> yes. He embodied so hard he became me, bro. Just without the fantasy <laughs> powers and the snake snake girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I don't have an actual human girlfriend. Yeah, good for you, man. Yeah, good for you, bro. No. Thank you, but good for you, bro. Lona, Lona, <laughs> ask <laughs> over. Lona, ask over. I really like writing, writing stories. You call it Lona, <laughs> I call it life. But then, like, Damn I same. never really dare to, like, expose <laughs> it. For real, for real. Yes. Oh, you know, I I think I got briefly said this on stream before, but now it's going to be immortalized on the archives of YouTube. When I was <laughs> younger, okay, around second school, I would write, like, hentai fanfiction in word movie <laughs> about my, char- about my character on the blue color Instagram. And it reached a whopping, like, 100k followers before... I deleted the account and got it banned because I couldn't keep up with the horny chat. Which is what may be the reason why I'm so fucking down bad. Horrendous. Yes, you and are. And have a very and fucked up yeah. king, you know. <laughs> so yeah, may or may not be a starter to a downward. <laughs> a fire that lit the flame. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, you're such a snowball. It's Amazing like my younger play. me set up my older me for all this fucked up. <laughs> Puffing. Hey. hey, you started the snowball. You have no one to bet. <laughs> good luck, boy. Yeah, good luck, brother. Yeah. You dug the hole. You push the snowball. You. <laughs> it's right. a, a you <laughs> problem now. So, so have Doc- you guys like taken anything from your like younger days into like your adult-ish Oh, yes, yeah. how we are all old. Mm. Uh, yeah, yes. Yes, I have. I, I don't Let's even know start. how old is Domo, honestly. Is, is Domo <laughs> older or younger? Guys. Older, older. Older, okay. What kind of mm. youngest? Okay, la, sorry, really la, sorry, la, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm yeah. a small girl. Youngest. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, am I the oldest? Huh. I don't know, uh, are you? I think I can just say this. Uh. This year I turned 23. Uh, yeah. Thank God. Oh no. You and Yoru. <laughs> then I'm the second. And then Akane is unfortunately slash fortunately fucking Zoomer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What do you mean Zoomer? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, technically I do fall under the Zoomer ish. I barely fit. I barely go into the Zoomer cat and I want land. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you guys end up bringing into your? Oh, uh, how do I say this? Ew, this one, this one got backstory one, but I'll save you all the troubles. And uh, how do I say this? Okay, the thing that I've brought over since I was young, right? Because when I was young, I had pretty bad. Um, let's just say uh, not a lot of good shit happened quite a lot of bad shit and that could quite affect a kid so I've wanted to adapt into someone that can what's it called group with a bunch of people basically someone who can surround himself with a good amount of people cool kids right <laughs> no, 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 not cool kids. I never want to oh. be the. I, I, I don't. I don't want to be the cool kid. It's, it's more like. Uh, it's gonna sound so edgy. I don't want to feel the same pain I did last time. Wait, wait, so he's, I, I ask you the question, and then maybe you help me reach the conclusion. I have In my the conclusion. sense, it's okay. like how I say. You wanna be able to feed in a bunch of people, not in a way that you feel left out, is it? Mm, not really. Le- huh. Can you say that again? Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's like how I say, you're, you're on the, it's because you say you don't want to be able to feed in a bunch of group of people, no? I remember. No, it's me. just more like, I want to be able to like, 
surround myself with people, not just like, not not just a shallow sense. It's like, like surround myself Fit with in? like, like your to, to the A lot oh. of like good friends. Like a lot of people I can call like good friends. You know. So man, fuck. Let's just say, <laughs> no, fuck off. <laughs> no, it's cause. It's kind of there's something tied to my past is where I didn't have a lot of space to do uh, like to really kind of forced to grow like uh, grow mentally when I was younger. So now now that I have the chance, I want to be able to befriend a lot of people without getting bashed for no fucking reason. Uh. So I with that said, I. I think you can pretty much tell my past, right? I I I I half half because I feel like I can kind of relate at the same time more re- really on the mm. note that the starting hand is so bad that you're forced to be someone that you weren't at the time, like to mm. adapt to survive. TLDR, I don't really have a childhood or like very fond memories of my childhood. So I only can like recall like adult and like being told this toxic masculinity in green kind of vibe mm. which is so hard yeah so kind of understand where you're coming from at a certain degree yet not fully kind of mm. still lost okay. in the fog to put you into the, the put you into the scale uh, you you recall most it's just about your adult life right for me yes. I remember everything from the smallest thing to the biggest thing but not in a good way let's just say that Oh, oh. Wow. it's not as dark mm. as others, but not good. St- still not good. Why? When I recall, I only recall like negatives and very few positives. Oh, mine is just pure negatives. Mine is like how to say. It's like the reality you live with, you know. You you had to hit this certain fucked up situation to end up at the person you are. So it's mm. like bittersweet. Is oh, that the right way to say? I can just say this. Uh, the first half of my life was pretty bitter. Just bitter. No, no sweet. See, mine is like a dying world spiral where like, uh, this is so not good to say on a podcast. But I was in a constant state where, how to say, I understand the feeling of where you want good friends so now, if I think about it more. Because at the time of my life when I was younger, the reason why the character Suzu came out was that I'm lonely with no one I can depend on. And I have friends who betray me and take stuff from me and set me up for things that I didn't want to. Mm, and then mm. I grew up to be a very uh, vengeful, hateful, uh, very easy to resort to violence. A, fo- a person with like, I guess, lifeless. Lifeless and no will to live. And eventually, that led me to my teenage days where I actually actively, yes, that is all you're getting. But yeah, I can understand the point, I think. Yes, it's similar, but instead of being vengeful and full of hate and then resort to violence, I... How to say? Okay, this is going to sound edgy again, but put on a mask. (laughs) Not wrong. It's edgy. <laughs> I don't know why. I just picture this robot that's slot in the mask. <laughs> you know, you know, oh, you know why my character's a robot? I have a reason yeah. behind it. Oh shit. The more robot the law? <laughs> no, the reason is right. It's very of course robot very versatile. You literally you can change into anything you want. Oh shit. That's why I'm a robot. Like I can turn into I can evolve and turn into an android. I can like wha- come up with some bullshit like say I, I, I put on cat ears. I can I can just say magically I like I don't know magically somehow adapted and became uh, like a being or something else or some shit because I lived so long. Some bullshit like that. Because uh, it's so versatile, that's why I chose a robot. So I can mm. literally change into anything I want in the future if I want to. Actually, kind of goated, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, thank you. So, I guess now that we are done with Domo, hello, lizard or cat <laughs> trap? Cat trap, 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 
Drew got called out so hard he started coughing, bro. Yeah, okay. man. Right. Titanic can go first. <laughs> because, because I don't know what's the question anymore. <laughs> the question is... Do you have anything you brought over from your kid to your adult life and then it kind of low-key impacted, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like your stream Let's stuff. just say when I was a kid, I was not like this. So I can't really relate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. you're full 180. Yeah, I'm the full 180. That's why I'm pretty fucked up because when I was a teenager, I was taught to like not do what I did when I was a kid. But I mean, it's not like, it's not something like stupid, like, don't push people because that bad. And it was like, damn, I wish I could push people. Don't tell I mean, me. It's not so like you... that. But it's like, do not accidentally unlife this person. You tell me that. Yeah, one. don't I, I, I people, people. Bro. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm more of like, uh, I'm not sure. Though. It's so weird. It's like, I feel like I have like a split mentality personality when I was a kid. It's like from my point of view, right, I'm very ex uh extrovert, like extreme extrovert. Talk a lot. I run around like an idiot. I play with my cousin every day and stuff like that, right? But from my cousin's point of view, this is actually tape recorded, right? Which like really shocked me. Cause I was we were talking about what happened that time, but it was recorded, you know. And then my aunt pulled out the tape. Turns out I was just sitting there alone, doing nothing. But I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Damn. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It's, it's very weird. Nah. But for my teenage, when I was like teenager, I became very introvert because I try to fit in more. So that's like, that, right? Yeah, it's like, it gets very weird to a sense like, I get, it's like identity, identity crisis in a way. Like you don't really know who you are or what to a point I can kind of relate it's to like that. it's weird oh. it's like huh conform to society or be rejected <laughs> yeah 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 and then everyone's like just be yourself and then when you be yourself you're like what the fuck why yeah. are you like this where's everyone they all left which <laughs> yeah, really hurts me so that's why I try to like not try not to like be myself all the time I'll be like <clears throat> for example you have like three friends, right? Yeah. Friend A, I'll be much more like outgoing, but friend B, I'll be like very silent. Friend C, I'll be like normal and stuff what? like that. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, I do that a lot back then. Your room, all us, bro. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's kidding. like, it's like, it depends on what you want, you perceive me as. Like, if you want me to be like the, the happy type, then I'd be very happy. If you want to be like sad type, then I'll be a sad type. Just for you, you know? Mm, I was like mm, that back mm. then. Mm, which is mm, very, very depressing, I would say. That's why I say I can somewhat relate. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, to this, right? Uh, to this, I can say also. Um, when I was younger, to... Okay, so... Uh, my family interacts with you usually through events, right? There will be family, both sides, uh, mom, dad. And then there it will be dad's friend. It will be all childhood friends. So, right, I have something similar to you, Yoru, where in the dad's side, uh, to the dad's friend side, uh, I'll be considered more of the, 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 the smiley boy. Yeah, yeah. The one that always has so the high. smile to be... No, no, no. It's not so high. <laughs> la. Smiley so high. No, no, <laughs> the smiley so high. No. Yeah, they, for some reason, they all think that, oh, I have a good smile and it's very genuine or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But in, in, in reality, it's so fucking fake, I can laugh at myself. But like, out, right? I act like smiley, smiley, happy, happy boy la, in front of them. And then, uh, then to family side, I act more so high. Mm. On online, I act uh, more <laughs> composed, but so it's like me, a mask for every scenario. Yeah, it, it's like it's like the one one Chinese art where of you are like the one dance where you like constantly swap masters. Oh, I, I don't know. I heard about the saying what uh, a thousand faces or a thousand masks on a single oh, person. Okay. Mm, something yeah. like that, lah. 
And then when I'm by myself, uh, good pastime is to hear, listen, listen to chaotic bullshit or uh, listen to music. Yeah, like that, that's like me. Mm. But that rarely comes out, lah. So <laughs> it's Not like it's like because that's hmm? me. <laughs> I'm like I got to the point where there'll be times where I really just want to like shout and run around for no reason because that's what I really want to do but at the same time my brain is like no, no dude cannot. what the fuck don't do that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. see yeah, you you cannot be like, yourself because society no. rejects no I, I know it's, I know it's like it's like you know when you ask a, a extrovert to like sit at his room and do nothing for 15 days oh no. go crazy right that's why the, yeah, I, that's I went... how i felt a lot of times but, but at the same time i'm an introvert so it's like me. it's like <laughs> i'm an extrovert <laughs> feeling feeling e, introvert do not extrovert like do not internet the feeling of <laughs> the the urge to like go out but at the same time the urge to stay at home at the same time oh then i can say i'm different yes yeah, so it's like so a very a, very lost situation I, i'm a hard introvert so are you on like the path to equilibrium, finding the <laughs> center of the chaos? Trying what? to find my horizon. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my god! It's only your words only. Yeah, oh. I need <laughs> to to climb up from this black hole. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's kind of interesting because I'm. I don't know. But I'm not leaning towards extra. Yeah, but it's so... nothing related to my character. My character, mm. it's much more like, um. You know, like the Twitter where you could create a character thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I created something like that, Fox Girl, I think. And then someone's oh. like, "Hey, I wanna draw you." And like, I don't have an OC. Then they draw my Twitter profile picture. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'll just use this in my profile picture. Uh, OC then. And then yeah, it, and ta da. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, the line, all three of us very chuni. I guess Akane would be the tiebreaker. I'm not chuni. What I'm chuni, man. I'm not chuni. How am I chuni? How am I chuni? The word selection we have all chosen right is damn chuni. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I guess like I was. How do you say it? What what word could you use this? Uh, okay. My friend was extremely. He's he's not extremely cringy or chuni, but he do it for the fun of it. And then that inspired me. And then be like, yeah, that guy is cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, it's because my situation is not, is abnormal. So there's lack of words to describe what's going on. I there. Know, really, guys. So it's not it's, really Chuni. It's, yeah, it's, it's not Chuni. It's not Chuni. It's, it's, Let me call you. I, I don't think I want to do edgy stuff. Calm down with the self-defense, <laughs> guys. <laughs> don't get so <laughs> don't defensive. The right. Fuck you. Just, just Let me a, call it's an Indian decision description. Come Let down, me call. Come. Not... So funny. Tell to our dear hostess to uh, okay. try and good luck, honestly. Uh, <laughs> After so knowing much... Akane, good luck, honestly. Well, why, why are you going to be like that, man? <laughs> the question is about like what we were, what is our personality, right? And how it links yeah, to yeah. our video world, right? How you brought it to yeah, our, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. How you brought it to adult yeah, and VTubing. Like, um, so. Yeah, like, from kid, you bring to adult, and then whether you brought it to VTubing or not. As a kid, uh, as a kid, uh, honestly, don't really, really remember much from my younger years. Oops. But all I know is that I, at a certain point of time, was quite extroverted. That I actively tried to make friends. Then I couldn't make any friends. Or like people use me for like money, right? So in the end, right, I became very, very introverted very fast. Like I just instantly just cut people off. I just boop, disappear into the night. I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of became very introverted. So uh, I don't really have a set personality as an introvert. Because I just, uh, I kind of just adapt like, with whoever I'm hanging out with. If people I'm hanging out with is more energetic, then I would tend to lean more to energy, like the maybe more mature side. I don't really want to be exactly the same as them. It's, instead, I want to like kind of be like the anchor. So like if people are very energetic, I will be energetic, but at least more mature about it. Oh, I swear I've heard a Chinese mm. saying about it. Like the percent is like water. 
no matter what situation you go into, you try Le- to flow and then blend. Yeah, pretty much. Because I don't Not want to, to stand out. Stand or overshine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to stand out and I don't want to like overshine people because like, like sportive people, right? Yeah, I always had this problem with people who are always like like growing up uh, telling me that like oh yeah like such an attention haul but actually I'm not even seeking attention I'm just down there like trying to be myself then they're calling me attention haul I'm just like noted to self okay can so yeah I try not to like stand out too much nowadays but then like after I became a VTuber I kind of just want to s- like within a group of friends of course I don't obvi- I don't like speak over people or whatever but I want to be my own unique self but I still don't really have a personality that is what I can define as me. So like, since young, uh, until I grew up, I always wanted to be a certain way that is kind of what I managed to pull off. But I know that's not really me. So that is pretty much my VTuber model. It's just someone who's very charismatic, very bubbly, but also very mature at times. Yeah. So I guess a question I have out of curiosity is that if you were to describe it, you say you had to unlearn things. You actually learn when you were a kid to kind of benefit of the individuality of like VTuber personality. Wait, wait, wait. What? Like, like you, you say how you... You blend in. Ah. Uh. So now, you know how VTubers, we are, without trying or like knowing, but we do know that it exists. We try to be more unique in a sense that our individuality shines out a lot so that we can be remembered yeah. easier. Mm. You know? That's why there's a lore thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, from lore to like, yeah. So do you think you had to unlearn these things that you learned as a kid? Oh yeah, definitely. I literally just, okay, like, you know how people, like, you know, when they have a certain few things they want to undone, right? They will, in PC sense, they will click on it and then they'll press the delete button, right? Yeah. I went to click on the window, I control A and then I delete everything. (laughs) And then I slowly add back whatever, I go and re-download whatever I want. (laughs) That's the nerdy way of putting it. I guess it's just similar. You are starting from zero and looking at the parts that you like about yourself and then re-downloading those parts and staying and then keeping the parts that you don't like deleted. Yes. But the thing is, sometimes the things that are deleted in the trash bin magically get restored. <laughs> wow, <laughs> must be a virus on my computer. <laughs> I, I guess the next question... Just to close out the segment, I guess, for everyone, is do you think the parts that are negative about you are also the benefits of your stream or like your personality as a whole now? Very interesting response, but I wish I was as happy and hyped as like uh, when I was like what twelve before twelve years old, like six years old maybe. Mm-hmm. But then again, from the evidence that my aunt took, it feels like I'm I'm a bit like insane. <laughs> yeah, a bit insane. Yeah, oh Damn, God. I relate to that one. For real, for real. <laughs> Imagine me sitting there. I was drawing and like being hyper and stuff like that. Turns out I'm just sitting and doing nothing. That would be like scary. Don't know. <laughs> okay, but write it off as. They do not understand my complexity yeah, I'll, I'll in the arts. And be like, I'm drawing something in my mind. Leave me alone, yeah. peasant. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Okay. There's a reason. There's a reason why, like, I'll never believe what I do. A lot of times, I'll question it. It's because, like, of that reason too. When I told my cousin, like, I told about people sometimes, like, oh, uh, I did this, but they're like, no, you didn't do it at all. And then I'll be like, question, like, what? Oh, you know? I didn't do not, it? Yeah, I didn't do it. What the fuck? Am I like insane? It's like a lot of times like that, but I don't know. I think that's why I have a habit to like self-doubt because of mm. that video. 
Mm. It's like a confirmation mm. thing. Like, oh, actually, I think I was a bit insane back then. <laughs> I was a bit insane back then. Damn, relatable, bro. <laughs> what yeah, way I to just keep it? helping myself nowadays. Like, did I actually do this? I'll check like three times. Then I walk away and I'll come back again. It's like, okay, I did it. Write it down. <laughs> well, I think as a kid, I was quite I was, like, that, I was the idea. silent one. What? I was the silent one. Shit. Yes, when when I was younger, I was the silent one because I was I was I was looking at everyone. I was reading everyone. Mm. And that's talking about like, like seven. <laughs> Jesus. I was only loud when I was very young, like mm. since birth till like maybe eight nine years old. Was cause I wanted friends because I'm lonely. Oops. Mm, no, I get that. I started being loud when I was like 14. Mm. Oh the reverse. Wow. Feels like it's come to me. Because naturally everyone just say, fuck my life. What? Oh, hey, but I, 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 I wouldn't say like it's a bad thing because I wouldn't be here right, if I did not experience those shit. Mm. Like, like, I don't so know if it's though? a good or bad actually. Realization Same. hits you harder than you think. Why, why is such a like cocoon become butterfly? It's like not the same at all. Because I used to talk really loudly. And then I, without knowing, continued to strain my voice because nobody can hear me. Like they would say I'm speaking too softly or I'm too timid. And then I basically transform. From like, uh, not really loud to soft, more of the sense that I became in a state. <laughs> like, oh boy, oh I hit like, Zenyata, what's up? Yeah, like, like, I, hit, I hit like the Zen part of my life a bit too early Experience from messing. Up. Yeah, yeah, quite literally. Experience though. tranquility, <laughs> GG. Like, like how people have like body dysphoria or like dysphoria with something. Suzu be like. I had it with like my whole being for like, I think the greater part of 18 years and then I fell into an endless escapism. So the me now that everyone meets is like the post. Rock, 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 rock bottom. <laughs> yep, yep, felt that, felt. Like, so I fall... now be like, I do not juggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, everything is so much clearer, cleaner. So I have no, like, negatives I brought over, except for, like, my lack of confidence. Mm. My confidence is still missing, because I... Got rid of most dysphoria except my voice. <laughs> that is the one thing I am struggling to cope or like understand. And mm. it's so fucking bad because most people say I have a pleasant to listen voice or some people like it to a certain simple level. And some people have a very strange take on my voice. Are you avoiding the word sexy? I'm... Yes. A lot of people say that, okay? Not me, huh? I don't yeah. like this kind of stuff. Huh? Yeah, so, so you see, it's so like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> get a, that, I get that. I, I live with a permanent like dysphoria my whole life. And now I'm like, now com- com- I have to find confidence and be okay with that. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> hey, Where, was the, people, uh? Where <laughs> was the warning? Where was the warning? The warning was when I started clicking the start stream button. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was the warning. I spoke and I messed up. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't accurate. know why negatives were like so overflowing. Like, maybe Yoru says it's insane, right? Mine is like, I made so much bad choices in a row constantly without thought or failure. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Kind of like, uh, small insight. I, I, I was like, I went through like all the phases, you know. The shine, the playboy, the, the alcoholic, the smoker. So, yeah. Too many negatives to count. Kumbina side, everyone. 
Oh, okay. this is now you get is the computer version. <laughs> computer. No, right? <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> collector, bro. Yeah. If you're talking about character wise, or like personality character, I may have unintentionally like bringing up to to my current VTuber model, I guess. In a sense that I don't know whether it's like true or not, but or I'm like imagining things. <laughs> but it's like I felt like right. I'm no different from a fucking cat, you know. It's like <laughs> I walk fucking silently. What the fuck? Yeah, like I make like weird sounds. Like the... <laughs> yeah, like I and then I get you know cats are like easily frightened, right? And attention seeking holes. Exactly. I don't think I'm attention seeking. I don't think cats are like that too. <laughs> really? No, my cat doesn't give a fuck about me. <laughs> uh, okay, it's so weird. I think I think my cat's much more like a Cinderella. No. Oh. It's like <laughs> I was like, he wants me to pet her, him, you know. But then, like, when I pet him, right, he'll just walk away and then face his back on me, wanting me to pet him. But when I turn around, right, and face the other direction, he'll walk towards and look at me like, bro, could you pet me? <laughs> what the fuck? Hello, What's your friend? Like a friend. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll be like, I'll pet him again, and then he'll do the same thing to me. I'll like, what the fuck? What do you want? <laughs> he just wants me to pet him but with that like with thinking that he doesn't want to like me to pet him kind of a thing <laughs> yeah but i don't know even my name is so close to a cat like your room oh, yeah. no yeah. no 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 like my actual name oh uh... but not chinese mm. though my chinese is my chinese sounded much more like a dog <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, like okay. if you didn't add the chinese name but right, i would have i would have jokingly said your neither means this is your mommy but now you just a song is Ichi Shia Meow 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 No Ika Ko Ako No no because when I check like my Chinese I might op- I guess I'm a bit obsessed with like meaning and stuff like that sometimes. Though I'm not like I don't really take it seriously, but it kinda shocked me at times. Like my Chinese name is exactly like my personality. And then it makes me feel, and then the, the meaning is like, it kind of feels like a dog. It's what dog would do. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's not in a bad way at all. It's just, it's like very, very coincidence. Everything feels very coincidence. Like, it's like somebody wrote this shit kind of a feeling. So yeah. yeah. And I'm very curious. I yeah. guess this like concludes a for our first partner with our first guest don't know the group part oh mm, so honestly mm. i don't know if i butchered that or not no, it's, but it's, thanks. Okay, it's okay <laughs> thanks for watching the first part of the two partner series you'll probably be able to watch the next episode next week in a year's time no, i'm just kidding yeah uh, we like to <laughs> blue ball keep you interested hell yeah and we are also it's lazy for not I mean her. <laughs> <laughs> Find out next episode whether this Kwailan will still be here. <laughs> Find out next episode on the Midnight Sub Club. Alright, bye!